<clears throat> did I spell that right? I did. I did spell it right. We're good. We out here doing the thing. Simming for some simmers. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, wait. Look what I just found. I just found something really, 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 really cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look what I just found. I was on Tumblr and I got a little bit obsessed. I'm like, wait, this looks really cool. Now I want to download Alpha CC and make the Powerpuff Girls in The Sims 4. And I just might. Anyway, um, how are you though? <laughs> how are you doing today, Daff Daff? I hope you're doing good today. <sighs> Yes, I was CC shopping and I may or may not be doing a YouTube video based on making a realistic sim and I'm a little bit obsessed. So I'm ready. I'm really, really excited. Your cat will get at 1 a.m. Oh gosh, that's not good. 1 a.m. is like the tip of the iceberg too early not for it, but I feel your pain. <laughs> I didn't go to bed until like 1 a.m. this morning because I kind of fell asleep on the couch watching WandaVision. That was me. May the Bean, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going really, really great today. We are back once again. We are going to be playing the Mix Match Legacy Challenge. We're on Generation 2, and we're almost done with Gen 2, actually. This is going to be the last and final part of it before we move on to Gen 3. But good morning, good morning. It is a good morning. Yesterday was a very fun day, might I say, because yesterday we basically found Marshall. And it was the highlight of my life. Let me tell you, the highlight of my night, my day, my year of finding Marshall. We finally did it. We did it, Joe. We did it. We found a Marshall. Natalie, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. We're just getting started with our day. I wanted to kind of chit chat before we kind of hop into the game actually and it is a really good day good morning war lord how are you feeling how are you doing i hope your day is going good the pop-up bot welcome in welcome in how you be how you been peace peace signs for everyone but welcome, welcome in, besties. I honestly, it doesn't feel like a Wednesday. Even though I do stream at this time every single Wednesday anyway, it doesn't feel like morning to me. It's weird. I mean, I've been doing this morning stream for like, I, I would say like six months, maybe a little bit more than that. But it feels weird, you know? And Green Plum Bob, welcome in. Good morning. I'm having a fantastic day. I hope you are too. Misfit, hello. Hello. And Cream Puffy, welcome in. And you're feeling good. How you've been? I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good. This morning, I just kind of sat in my bed trying to figure out some weird issues with my uh, tax stuff. But I was on my, I was sitting in my bed watching youtube videos and i was watching my friend uh jake jake stream this morning so i was doing that as well stow star welcome in hey besties how you been today lately how's your morning how's your afternoon hopefully it's going great um see if i'm looking for something real quick it's over here um but I'm doing really good though today. I've been chilling. Woke up this morning, feeling rejuvenated. 
my voice is slowly going away because that happens every morning. But overall, I am doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm excited because we're going to be finishing generation two of our mix match legacy challenge. So get your names ready. Get your names ready, besties, because today is going to be a time. And Savvy, welcome in. Hello. You're probably going to play and listen to my voice. It's very calming. Thank you. People say I have a very calming voice. I think I just yell too much, which is never a good thing. Oh my gosh. I'm one follower away on Tumblr to getting a thousand. Wowzers. And I hardly ever post on there. <laughs> uh, little Shorty had her welcome in. You're popping in to say hello and you're amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Am Bishop, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> My name is Elder Price. Um, but how are you doing today? Hopefully your day is going good. Hopefully your morning is, morning or afternoon is picking back up from last night. Because last night was a great time. If you didn't know, if you all didn't know, yesterday we streamed Animal Crossing and we're hunting for Marshall. And let me tell you besties, we found Marshall and it was a great time. We found Marshall on ticket 471. And now we're just kind of trying to kick out a few others. At least I'm trying to. That way we can hunt again. RPG, hello. Are you doing good? You got about 6.30 for work to cover some, for cover to, to cover for someone. And then they got in around nine. I left and now I'm home in cozy clothes. That's good. That's good. Cozy times. Cozy times. It's been ages since I stopped by. So I'm definitely wanting to see you for a bit. Yeah, it has been definitely for a while, but I'm glad that you're back though. Yeah, there is a clip actually. Um, can one of my mods post a clip in the chat of the clip from last night? That would be great. And uh, Jay is, thank you so much for the resub for 14 heckin' months. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new resub. But welcome, welcome in. I'm really excited for pronouns too. I wanted to show you all what they, um, not really what they look like, Mm, well, yeah, it's the um, concept of what they've done so far of pronouns. And I think it's the most amazing thing in the world. Literally the amazing thing in the world. Um, but I am doing really good, though, Jay is. I hope you're doing good today. So let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So, like, this is what they have, like, in development at the moment. Oop. Oh. I was like, you can't see anything. I'm like, why? Um, but this is what they have so far in the in development. I believe there was, I think, oops, where is it at? There was another way. I think if I go to the Sims community, that'd be easier. It shows all the screenshots from the that stream. Um, also using your desktop or your phone for the stream. It's getting fixed right now. The guy who was fixing the keyboard the other day and the battery was swelling. Oh, that happens. That happened to me one time on my old laptop and it was just not it. That is not good. Yeah, that is like, I feel like it's a common issue for laptops where I think if it gets overheated, the battery swells up and that happened to my phone one time and my laptop or my mom's laptop one time. Yeah, it that's not good. <laughs> I hope I hope they can fix it because that's not good. Yeah, it did post. Yes, yes. Uh, you're doing great. And I started a flexible full time remote graphic design job. Congratulations. Oh, that's so good. Flexible, full time and remote. Always a great time. Very good. You have no Dr. Pepper? Icky. No Dr. Pepper is a sad time. Um, anyway, so this is what they showed in the live stream yesterday for like the pronouns. 
I kind of like the idea of this. You know how we literally were kind of predicting that it was going to be in Creative Sim? Well, they're going to put it in Creative Sim, which is really great. Yeah, I didn't scream like Momo, but I was, well, I screamed. I screamed yesterday during the live stream when I wasn't live. I did cry. <laughs> it was just like an, an honest, like honestly amazing moment that we're finally getting like true representation in The Sims 4 for pronouns in Creative Sim. Like we can get they, them, their, um, uh, she, her, hers, he, him, is, and then like custom, custom pronouns is like gonna be a really, really cool thing. And you can customize it to whatever you want, whatever your pronouns might be, IRL, or you want your sim to have certain pronouns, you can do that. And I think that's like really, really amazing. Pine Crossing, welcome in, welcome in. How you doing today? Ah, uh, finally, representation is happening. But what's even cooler about this is that they are basically, why am I so zoomed in? They are basically um, trying to figure out all the gender pronouns for each language. So right now, I think they have just English, but they're like fixing um, all the other languages. So it works well for everyone around the world, which is perfect. So I'm very pleased. Customs are so necessary. I agree. I really agree with you 100%. And this is what it looks, well, I don't want the ad. This is what it would look like. Like when you confirm your preferred pronouns in the Sims, it would have like the first name, last name, and then their pronouns. Now, I don't know what it will look like in, like in live mode. Like, you know how you can like hover over your Sim and then it would show like their first and last name. I wonder if it will look like first, last name, and then under their name would be their pronouns in live mode is what I'm thinking. And you're doing good. How are you? I'm doing really good today. We're kind of going over the update. Um, we're not the update. We're going over the live stream that they did yesterday. And then we're going to be playing our Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. So I'm very excited. Uh, it would be great if they tied the pronouns into clothing filters automatically so that they there get both masculine and feminine clothing options. That would be really good. That will be a really, really good one. I like that idea. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, I'm actually really happy they're adding in custom pronouns, yes. But I would really, really love that if they did that. Like if you prefer like they, they, their, or they, them, you get both clothing options. Oh yeah, I can post a link in the chat if you want to look at all the, what they did in the live stream yesterday. And um, Natalie, thank you for the 36 month of resub. I cannot believe it. Thank you, thank you so, so much for that resub. Yeah, 36 heckin months, that's a long time. Wait a minute, that's three years. Oh my good, that's a long time. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, wowzers. If my grandma was alive, she would not be a fan of pronouns. Oh. You know, I feel like if was pronouns for me, I think you should identify how you want to identify regardless of what people say, you know? But there is a link in the chat if you want to, uh, um, what's it called? Look at the, the stuff. Oh, the message post tries for you? That's weird. Hmm. Twitch has been having some issues like that lately. Where it's stuff posts twice. Happy third birthday. We can talk. Well, can we talk? Are we allowed to talk and walk? Maybe. I think by now, I think by now, Natalie, I think we're fully walking as a three-year-old. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're going to be zooming. <laughs> we're zooming. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for that reset, though. And good morning, Caitlin. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, we're also getting a new scenario called the power couple. Um, the pancakes are not a power couple. They're called the, um, disadvantage or the disempower 
couple is what I would call them. The pancakes are the disempowered couple. And then another thing too is that they're doing is that they're working with complex sims of creating three unique creative sim pieces. So far as of right now, what they have as a concept art is the robes. And I don't know if this is all the robe colors that we're getting, but we're getting new robes in the Sims 4 and base game. Um, and then two other ones that we haven't seen yet, but they're coming out on February 2nd is when we're getting the new uh, Sims delivery. What did you miss? Oh, you miss anything. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Wait, what? I don't think the messages are posting twice for me. The messages are posting once for me. I didn't see it as spam. That's weird. And that's totally okay, Ann Bishop. Never feel like you have to sub. It's totally okay. I really, uh, it really doesn't feel like it's been three years. It feels like I just started watching you last year, right? I know, it's crazy. I would try refreshing because that's weird. I don't know why it's like posting twice for you, but it's not posting twice for me. That's weird. Um, but it's fine, Savvy. It's all good. All good. Um, you're gonna go, uh, wait, what? I'm going to get a sketch later. Can I read? I'm going to get a sketch set later today from Hobby Lobby and draw another horse drawing. Ooh, that's exciting. Hey, RPG. Thank you so much for the 55 bits. I really appreciate it so, so much. Um... The other Sims delivery that we're getting um, is new East Asian, where, yeah, we're getting East Asian cultured foods, which is really cool. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you love the streams. I'm just going to throw the keyboard and mouse out the window. Oh my goodness. Me was my old laptop. No, me when I wanted to play Flappy Bird, but didn't win. just want to throw my phone out the window because I can never get past 10 and Flappy Bird, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, if you're popping into the stream right now, you're not really missing anything as of right now. We kind of literally just got started. We're just kind of going over the little updates. Um, not update. We're going over the live stream that they did yesterday in the Sims stream, kind of talking about what they're going to be doing for the next three months. Um, the new Sim deliveries, the pronouns, the new scenario. Pretty much everything that they're, they've talked about in the live stream, but yeah. East Asian cuisines. We're getting sticky rice, steamed fish, cold noodles, uh, niango, and more. And these are going to be dropped in February or March for the new Sims delivery for the food cuisines. But I'm so sorry that you're having bad tech issues, Savvy, though. That's never fun. It's like, why? Why? A new scenario, but I don't know when we're getting this scenario though. Um, I don't know when, but the other one, let's see. I think that's all they did. I think they were just announcing pronoun scenarios and then the new custom content stuff they were talking about, um, which is really cool. King Spirit, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty good. How's it been? How's you are? I swear I know English. I swear. But anyway, that's kind of basically all we had from the uh, Carme. Welcome in. Hello, hello. I'm doing really good today. Ooh, that's usually a thing. USB hub. That's another thing. And a King Spirit, thank you for the 30 bits. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. You know what? I haven't played the new scenario, the new scenario yet either. I'm going to be playing it later today for a video, um, but I haven't played it yet. But it seems pretty, people have said it's easy, but also hard, but it seems easy to me. And Natalie, thank you for the gift sub to Electric Soul. I appreciate that so, so much. Um, but so far, I am doing really good, King Spirit. Thank you for asking. I hope you are doing swell. I honestly am like over the moon because yesterday was a crazy day, like a good crazy because Sims live stream, their status update on pronouns, new Sims delivery, new scenario. And then later that day, 
and we're hunting for Marshall in Animal Crossing, and we found him. So yesterday was just a really, really, really great day, and I was so excited. So, and today's just even better because I get to like talk about it even more. <laughs> words, I don't know them. We don't need words in the in these streets of the Spring Squad, right? No words allowed. No words. Only. I don't know, air. <laughs> um, you still haven't, wait, I still think there should be MC Command Center and console. Oh, I believe you, 100%. I think that Sims just need um more stuff like on console, because console is like one of the best things in the world. And apparently with console, you have auto save and we don't. PC players don't have auto save, but I wish there was. I mean, technically I could deal with MC Command Center, but I just choose not to, but one of these days we can. One of these days. Oh. Oh, it's fine. I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's totally okay. Um. Um. Um, ah, I can't spell. Okay, anyway, <laughs> uh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Um, also, a little shorty hatter. Thank you for the posture check, by the way. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, okay, what else did I miss today? Yeah, yesterday was a lot of fun. Yes, yes. Uh, we evolved beyond words. Yes. I try to evolve beyond words, but doesn't really, you know, doesn't really come out of my mouth. He's like, you know what comes out of mouth? Nonsense is what comes out of mouth. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> Where's my thing at? Here it is. There it is. There we go. Um, happy to, I weighed myself and you lost four pounds last night. Congratulations on losing four pounds. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you, Tyler. Uh, yes, autosave has saved for me a few times. Can we sh have that now? <laughs> Can PC have autosave? That would bring me so much joy and happiness. Uh, it doesn't actually autosave everything. That's why. Really? Like, what does it technically autosave, though? Just, like, when you're on the lot, or... That's weird. It should autosave everything. Our brains say are just no. Yeah. Uh, I'm half... I'm the half... I'm halfway to the number of Shook Simone's to redeem. It, sh it seems like forever until I get there. You know, hey, you'll get there. And I believe you. How many Shook Simone's do you have at the moment, by the way, Natalie? Next villager is to find Flip. Well, actually, Dabney is going to give me Flip because Dab already had Flip on their island and was going to give them to me. It's like, okay, it's fine. So um, the next village that we're going to hunt for is uh, Sasha. Is who we're gonna hunt for. I can see them putting MC Command Center uh, as an add on that you have to download into the console for uh, Xbox and PlayStation. That would actually be a good thing for a normal fee, of course. Yeah, I think so too. I'm trying to find the hair I was looking for. Yeah, I feel like it would be more of like an add on. Like you can have it if you want to for a fee, because like it would support like the original creator who makes that, who made that mod. And personally, I think it's. Just seems right, you know? Uh, who am I missing? It also says every time you travel on console. Oh, that would be annoying, but also kind of great at the same time. Cause I'm like, why? 
13k Ooh, woo wait what are you trying to get are you trying to get vip for a month or hmm because with vip you can post links in chat which is really cool uh first time console had something before pc doesn't and that for i am sad <laughs> i mean we first got i mean PC first got a uh, gallery at the very start, and then console got basically everything. But then you all got auto save. I've been mainly trying to eat healthier, not overeat, and not snacking too much. That's good. I've been trying not to overeat and snacking too much because I tend to do that a lot. Should I make uh? Should I legit make some tea? Animal Crossing tea. Wait, Animal Crossing tea. Wait, you have some tea? Oh my gosh. You found 1,500 Simone's diving in dumpsters for Gen 1? Oh my goodness. That's actually kind of great, to be honest. Gen 1, you find some good stuff. Uh, you tried to get Sherpa off your island? Oh, actually, I'm trying to be disrespectful last night for giving them a birthday gift and not being grateful. I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to go and find Sasha and you're going to leave. Um... <laughs> It's like, mm, you don't deserve to be on my island, you ungrateful goat. It all saves a lot of things, but if your game crashes, it doesn't save for the last few minutes of your game. Okay, that's not that bad then. The autosave is essentially a separate save, so you have to save to the main file as a permanent save. Oh my, oh my, oh no. <laughs> that's actually, okay, that's annoying. I feel like with all the autosaving, with the amount of saves, the amount of times you travel, that's a lot. And I tend to travel a lot in The Sims 4. And if I was on console, I would be screaming. Because I travel too much. Oh, wow. Either VIP or Bill Tour, but I can't decide yet. <laughs> okay, Kayla, I need to have you actually wake up. Because I don't want to get pregnant yet. I want to be able to... um. Take care of these kids and get them out to have more room. Snacking is good, but with fruit and veggies. Yes, I love eating a lot of apples and oranges. And I feel like this is a thing that I shouldn't be eating all the time. But like for me, but like when I was like a few years ago, I kept on eating veggie chips all the time because they were so good, but they were high in sodium, but still so great. Raven's watching the stream with me. Raven just loves The Sims, apparently. Oh, our birthday cake. Yes. Raven loves the streams. You don't travel much on consoles since it takes so long. Like, on, on average, how long does it take? Oh, wait, that's right. I forgot last stream we're supposed to age up this child over here. Because you have an A, right? No, you have a B. 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 Oh, no, they all have Bs, but they're supposed to get A's tomorrow. That's what it is. Uh, my penguin utopia is on the horizon. Ooh, woo. That's so exciting. I'm so excited for you, vampire lore. Yes. Honestly, I think that when you're able to start decorating your island in Animal Crossing, and it's like the way you want it to be, and it's coming together, you know, it's a great day. Didn't PC have autosave originally? I don't think so. They probably did, but I didn't notice. <laughs> um, travel, my Sims home all the time, just like I do in real life. Exactly, I just stay home all the time. There no, there's no need to leave home. You can just stay home, it's easier. Leaving your house to meet people? Unheard of. Unheard of. Baby duck, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty good. We are back on the grind of the baby challenge. We are getting close. We only have three more kids left to be born in this generation before we move on to the asylum challenge. Um, <laughs> I need to work on my schoolwork, so I'm going to lurk. Yeah, lurk away. Do what you got to do. And Bishop, all good. Alrighty, everyone's doing their homework, I believe. Actually, no, you do your homework now. Um, but I'm doing really good today. I almost typed out the shout out command. <laughs> you know, let's all give a shout out to home 
because home is where the heart is. <laughs> Imagine, wait, is there a Twitch user named home? Cause that'd be funny. Um, you get to pick up Tinkerbell, your car from the shop today. Uh, my baby has been in the hospital and away from me for two weeks. Oh no. I hope, I hope everything is good with them. Cause having your car being away from you for so long is not fun. I had to go get my car fixed um, the other day and it was a lot of problems. Not really a lot of problems, mainly getting my oil changed and something else like fixed. I had to pay like $350 for that, but it was worth it. It was worth it. I was okay. But yeah, I don't think we had autosave at the very beginning. If we did, it was like probably for a short period of time. Yes, your pronouns are up in chat. I can see your pronouns. Your pronouns are she, her. I love to see it. Uh, you're doing well. Just doing some work. I'm watching you. I'm the queen of multitasking. Multitasking at its finest. We love to see it. Yes, I love seeing everyone's pronouns in chat. It makes me so happy. So good. Yes, if y'all didn't know, um, you can actually have your pronouns. Your preferred pronouns show up in chat. If you have Google Chrome or a Fire, Firefox browser, there is an extension you can add onto it and you can have your pronouns appear in Twitch chat, which is really cool. That way the streamer and also the viewers can kind of, you know, identify your pronouns to your liking. Okay, are you doing your homework, child? Oh, you already did yours. Okay, good. Well, you can actually go over here and do your assignment for a while. Bits. There we go. Not sloppy. Carefully. There we go. Um, yeah, that is. And uh, Sumaholic, I can see you have, you prefer any pronouns. He, him. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting me know that, King Spirit. Um, the extension is, well, it's called... Um, it's called pronouns.lejo.io. It depends on what, what browser you use. Either it's Google Chrome or Firefox. If you do exclamation mark pronouns in chat, you can click one of the two links that you uh, prefer and then it'll kind of go you step by step. Interesting, you have Firefox and I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. There you go, besties, all right there. Yeah, click the link above to your preferred uh, platform. And a uh, mix queen, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good on this fine e morning. <laughs> there you go, besties. There you go. And now all of your pronouns will be displayed in chat and everyone can see them. Yeah, you just Google Twitch pronoun expiry extension and with the first link, they've done their marketing and engineering correctly. And that's how it should be. That is how it should be. Uh, what's the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge? Right there, besties. If in case you are popping in for the first time of this challenge, the rules are all right there for you. Um, it is a, right now, a 10 generation long legacy challenge where each generation is a different challenge. And personally, I think that's kind of fun that way because each generation is never the same. However, the way I worked it, to make it more, make it make sense and easier is where there are some legacy challenges that are already 10 generations, but I just kind of picked and chose, picked and choose which generation from that legacy challenge to put into my challenge. So it makes sense. I don't know um, if that makes any sense. Cause I chose for one challenge was, I think, what was it? What was it? Let me see. I got to think for myself because I forget. There was a generation that I had on here. Yes, here it is. So, you know how with the Disney Princess Legacy Challenge, that original challenge is 10 generations, but that challenge was too long and I didn't want to do them all. So, what I did is I chose Gen 3, which is technically Tiana from Princess and the Frog. And I chose Gen 3 to put in Gen 6. So it makes sense with all the aspirations and the traits and the career before we kind of move on to the next gen, the next gen, the next gen. So 
it's a it's a pretty like easy challenge, but I feel like it's a uh, more enjoyable because there's always a story behind it, so it makes more sense. Oh, like adding the extension to Chrome? Yes, it's pretty pretty easy. I'll show you how it how it works. Safari, I don't. That says Udi. <laughs> it's the wrong link. Um, let me see. I don't know if Safari has it though. Is a thing. Yeah, I don't think Safari has it. Um, it hasn't appeared in chat for me, uh, space for yet. Yes. Yeah, so if you, once you click on the link in the pronouns section, you can do exclamation mark pronouns in chat. Um, once you come to like this page, I'm on Google Chrome, by the way, you just log into your Twitch account, which I'm going to do this for a second. So you don't see anything. Um, but once you log into your Twitch account, um, yeah, once you log into your Twitch account, you see, you come up with this uh, screen right here, and they basically have every single pronoun um, displayed right here. And if they don't have your preferred pronoun, you can always go with like other, if that works for you. And um, once you kind of select your uh, pronoun and you, to your liking, you can go ahead and click submit, and then it should appear in chat. But I believe what happens is that. Um, it's like a five minute thing. So it says the extension uses a five minute cache to reduce load on the server. So I would, yeah, refresh. Um, it kind of does, does it every five minutes. Uh, if after refreshing the tab in the chat is open, you can't see your pronoun. Try restarting the browser itself if you don't see it. Okay, so it looks like the browser for the extension, it supports Firefox, Chrome, but Oprah, GX, Microsoft Edge, and other base browsers that support Chrome extensions are not officially supported. So right now it's not available on Safari. It's only on Firefox and Chrome at the moment. I'll try my personal computer some other time. Awesome, awesome, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely try that and see. But as of right now, I think it would take a few minutes to see. It takes a few. But yeah, in case you didn't know, now you know. There's also an extension too. Oh, that says closed captions. Oh, hmm, interesting. But it's a really, really good thing. It's really simple and really easy. I feel like everybody should use it. Um, but yeah, Mixed Queen, if you ever want to try out like a challenge, I recommend this one. Uh, click the install button. One second later, Twitch has updated to show pronouns. No restart required. Oh, perfect. Thank you for letting us know that, Green Plum Bob. Okay, okay. And uh, Chib, welcome back to another stream. Welcome, welcome back, everyone. All right, let's have you go to the bathroom. I'm going to have you wake up. You're at level three. You are at level two, so wake up, bestie. Have you read the vampire lore book? Uh, I haven't found where to set them in my settings yet, but I'll keep poking around. Awesome. Thank you. I can call you Chippy. Uh, like the style art. Nice, Chippy. You know, there's a... Um, I forget who it is. I don't know if it's Simsy's chat or Rochelle's chat. It's one of my streamer friends, and they I think they have a mod named Chibi Laura. When I think of Chibi, I think of Chibi Laura. I don't know why. Um, but Chibi, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. Multitasking? Love that. <laughs> oh, it is good. Okay, awesome. I was like, wait, I couldn't remember who it was. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. But I hope you are doing good today on this fine morning or evening for you. We are back with our Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. Child, do not go. No, go over here. Get away from the child, please. Thank you. Um, but we are playing our Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. And we're on Gen 2 at the moment. And we're only three kids away from finishing this Gen but I'm trying to take it easy with it because I want to get a few kids out so we have less screaming children. 
Uh, well, the extension or not, you can call me Space or Sam, and I go by they, them only. Thank you for letting me know that. Appreciate it. Why are you so angry? Uh, calm down. Calm down. Go to school. Learn something. Learn something. Everyone can go to school today. Are you going to? Where are you at? Oh, you're at school. Good. Alrighty. I'm also thinking of installing a mod into my game where um, it's like a school, a school mod that someone made. And it, it kind of changes the whole education system in The Sims 4. And I'm kind of keen of getting it soon. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, Kayla. Oh, it's Valentina and Wally's birthday today. Oh, perfect. Two toddlers in the household, which now that I'm thinking, I just might age them up now. That way we can start working on their skills early on. You're hungry. I'll feed you. Don't worry. Don't worry, bestie. I feed you. Ready? Let's put this cake away. Also, who ate a piece of the cake? Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's a different cake. Take the chance. I lost some performance. Oh, no. Oh, sadness. Oh, well, it's okay. We can always get it back up to where we need to be. Well, at least we're, at least we're studying hard at school, which is good. Extra credit. Wait, Regan's last math test was not her best work. She got a so-so grade, which could really bring down her average. Should she ask for extra credit or try as hard to get a perfect next time? Extra credit always goes a long way. Always. Yes. Enjoy your lurk, uh, little uh, shorty hatter. Uh, Sims are always, are always on cake diet. They really are. It makes me want to delete them. It makes me want to delete my Sims when they eat the cake. When they know they're supposed to age up, you know? You need some coffee, all good, all good. I have never taken a sip of coffee in my life. And Texas, welcome in. How are you doing today? I keep hearing about uh, a teen mod too, but I might get that because my teens uh, never have anything to do. Same. I think that like there is a preteen mod yeah, there's a preteen mod, and then there is also a like a school mod. And personally, I might get both, but then again, preteens are a thing that I've never really wanted in The Sims. But I might try it out and see how it works. Yeah, I've never had coffee before. <laughs> I've never had it. I'm already too hyper enough to even have coffee, and usually in the mornings, I'm always awake. So like, I feel like I don't need it half of the time. You know? Oh, you have them? Is it a good mod to use? It's so annoying when Sims eat cake and I work so hard to make them. Right? You want to you make them and then they eat them. I always try when I age up my kids. I immediately have that kid put on the birthday candles before they even try and attempt to leave. You've never had a sip of coffee either? Mmm. Iced coffee, I've never had either. You grew up uh, with your Italian grandmother who uh, resulted into five-year-old me <laughs> being fed coffee with a lot of sugar and milk and then being taught to make coffee for grandma. <laughs> Teach them while they're young is what your grandma is saying. Teach them while they're young. Uh, Sharky, welcome in, depending on if you use Koicc's Better School mod, uh, or prefer the preteen mod is eh. Yeah, I've used to use, uh, Koicc's Better Schools mod, and that was really, really good, and I feel like I should re-add it in, because it was really detailed, because it added, in, like, preschool for kids, and private preschool, and, like, homeschooling. I mean, like, either one is perfectly fine, I feel like, um... Because, like, I think it was, um, who was it? It's, it's like a Adagio, not Adagio, but it's like a, uh, Sims 4 school mod. It's made by somebody, and I forget who. 
here it is. Yeah, it's uh, education overhaul. This is the other mod that I was talking about. A deep in a deep indigo. It was the other one. Um, the career, the education career, preschool. Education enrollment is another thing. I know that Claire Siobhan used it uh, for her Let's Plays. They also have boarding school and grade school and high school changes. Detention, field trips, like all this stuff is like what I've always wanted in like a mod or like in generations would be so cool. Um, meanwhile, my third cup of coffee. I would say stray away from the coffee for a little bit, maybe. <laughs> you enjoy coffee for the taste and when it's cold it warms you up mm. waiting on the grocery order later and i need a creamer oh what kind of like what type of coffee do you prefer like straight black coffee iced coffee because i know there's like different types of coffee flavors which is like things I saw that they got a season two. I'm so excited. I honestly really love iCarly and I'm so pumped to see what they do uh, next season. Uh, let's do a grand meal for everyone. You buy ready to drink iced coffee because I don't have time. <laughs> What's like a three month old mood. I drink coffee when I was in high school, but I didn't like it. But I, I drink it to fit in. I feel you on that part. Sometimes I just, I used to like have a bunch of gum, a, a gum package to fit in. I used to like say, I'll give you a piece of gum. You'll be my friend. It worked. <laughs> uh, I think I, I think cor I correctly added my pronouns. Yes, you did. I see your pronouns, Natalie. She, they. Thank you for letting me know your pronouns. Uh, iced coffee is good. Who are you? Nathaniel Fine? Go away. <laughs> I think that's the one the preteen mod uses. Oh, really? Hmm. But it was made by somebody else, the, the preteen mod that I know of. Yeah, Claire is so cool. I love Claire. I try not to overboard with sugar and flavors now that I have a grinder and I get fancy local whole bean coffee. Very good locals. Uh, do you know how to do animated emotes for Discord? You have Nitro. I can add in the um, our animated emotes to Discord. I can do that. Because I have Nitro as well. And um, I've been adding like sprinkle them in. I forget how many slots I have though available for nitro for the server but i can add them in though let's see i have i have 39 slots available for animated emotes for discord lordy lou um <laughs> what challenges are you doing for the mixed match legacy so at this current moment i've already done rags to riches and right now we are on the A to Z baby challenge at the moment for this one. But the other challenges I'm going to be doing are um, Big Sister Challenge, Disney Princess Legacy, Runaway Teen, The Asylum Challenge, um, Black Widow, and Living Off the Land. But like as like fillers I have right now is the Apocalypse Challenge for Gen 10. Markland challenge, not so berry challenge for Gen 2, and then a uh, three little Sims challenge as fillers as of right now. Hey, little abs, a welcome in. I hope your day's going pretty good. Welcome, welcome in. You love coffee, ice, hot, or you don't care? That's good. <laughs> and Dev, hello, I'm on my way home. How are you doing? Uh, we still need to add the birthday bot. Is that a still, is it a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. I think we can add that through uh, the bot we currently have, but I gotta figure out a way. Um, you prefer Frappuccino's regular coffee with sugar and cream? Ooh. Get out a pack of gum in school and suddenly everyone's your friend, literally. <laughs> 
Uh, no, I remember I told you I never seen iCarly. So I told you I would start watching and now I'm on season two. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you meant the new one. I thought you meant the new iCarly, not the, the old one. But I'm glad you are liking the old iCarly. Oh, good. Have you seen Neville yet? Because I think Neville was on season one, I think. Neville's weird, though. You have to go pick up Tinkerbell at noon. She's 35 minutes away. Alrighty, Natalie, we'll see you later. Uh, but can we say some welcomes for a little abs in the chat, please and thank you? Uh, I think we collaborate. The collaborate with the occasional overhaul because they have a moodlet mod. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. You're doing a strawberry shortcake challenge. You should look into it. Hmm. What is it about, by the way? Strawberry shortcake. Hey, A, 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 B. Child, learn something. Read something. Like three or four times. Ah. I never thought about doing more than one challenge overall. It's really more, it's a lot more fun this way to do challenges each gen, but not do the whole challenge. Like I took generation, I believe gen three, I took Gen 3 from the Disney Legacy Challenge and put it at Gen 6. That way we're not doing the entire Disney Legacy instead of we're doing only one of the Gens. Tell me why you said living off the land I thought of Disney ride first. <laughs> Your brain automatically goes to there. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. You don't like the new iCarly is a bit cringy. It's too modern, but I'm, I'm okay with it at the moment. It's not as bad. I mean, the show is nothing without Sam, but I've liked that they're acknowledging that Sam's not in it and gave her like her own storyline. Cold Stone Creamer and Chocolate Syrup. I've never had Cold Stones, ever. And also welcome back little Shorty Hatter. Uh, it's just like little Miss Sam, like little Simsy, but different. Yeah. Um, uh, was about reading about your mixed match and looks good. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you're liking it. I really had a lot of fun, like kind of deciding which challenge I preferred one to do and gave a backstory for each one. I'm still trying to write out, um, the rules for Gen 9 and also Gen 10 because I always need something to continue the storyline, you know? But I'm thinking of changing out Gen 10 with a different challenge, but I don't know just yet on what, which one I wanna do. Uh, you're still on Gen 1 and still haven't played much, but I, I have a little shell with no door. Who needs doors anyway? Doors are overrated. <laughs> You're doing strictly uh, all oversized crops and digging in the dumpsters. That's actually a smart way of doing it. I always went to the jungle and got a lot of money that way. Is my sim coming back to put the candles on the cake? No? Okay. Some might say I'm a little obsessed. Hmm. Some might say I'm interesting. Okay. Only some, not all, just only, uh, just a, a tiny few, a tiny few would say. Your bank account would say, stop. <laughs> okay, let's have you go and add birthday candles to the cake. We're going to move you out as well. Goodbye. And then age up our Tia and Tamara. You're welcome. Decided to make a cup of tea instead of co more coffee. Very good. I'm more of a tea drinker more than anything. I love drinking tea. Tea is so, so good. No, 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 no. Don't talk to your child. Thank you. I believe we have a tea command in chat. If you want to know what tea I, I drink the most. Cold Stones is good. And I got ice cream birthday cake from there before. Ooh, I used to work at um, Little Caesars and right next door was Cold Stones. And it was really interesting. 
because if you don't uh if you don't do different kits it gets a little bit boring really quick oh it does it does i think i also want to include um one challenge where i include the one of the aspirations that we got in base game and try to make a challenge out of that because i think it'll be really really cool to see how that works You like green tea? Ooh, I like herbal tea and green tea and black tea, but it's like a different black tea though. I get it from Adagio tea is what I usually get. Oops, that's not how I spell it. It's like a loose tea blend. Where is it at? If I can find it, I can show you all what tea I drink. Um. Here it is. It's called the Throat Therapy. Yeah, this is the one that I usually drink the most. Uh, decaf coffee, that is. Ah, I drink a lot of tea until I discover decaf, and it's delicious. Uh, just not caffeine-free. <laughs> it's just And not just a caffeine-free scam. Oh, yeah. I don't like any caffeine tea. Caffeine-related tea is, is not good. But uh, caffeine-free is what I need. But yeah, this is the tea that I drink the most. If you want to get it for yourself, it's really good. I've been drinking the same tea since 2016, I believe. So I've been a fan of Adagio tea for a long time. I should always drink tea in the morning, but I just tend to forget. You enjoy tea yourself, certainly steeping some chamomile. Ooh, that's good. Alrighty, we aged up a few kids today. Okay, add birthday candles, please. Before a child takes the cake. Thank you. Do your homework. Please, thank you. And we only got four kids left. Nice. It helps a lot when you drink black tea. Oh, it does. Spencer, Sam, and Freddy are my favorite characters, but I can't decide who I who I like the most. Hmm. I feel like Spencer is like one of the best because like he's even though he's Carly's brother, I feel like he's like that fun uncle, you know, that shows up when you least expect it. Caffeine makes me feel tired, so I can. Uh, I can't drink anything caffeinated. Yeah, that's why I don't drink coffee and other things, too. It's just like caffeine will make me more tired or more hyper than I already am. I mean, I've had caffeinated drinks before from Starbucks one time, and I didn't like it. It was icky. It made my head hurt. I think they were called the refreshers that they had at Starbucks. And I was like, oh, this, is, this looks nice. I'll drink some of that. Yeah, it was good, but it made my head hurt. Needed to get it figured out. Nice. And Elena, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Oh, I'm so glad you got it figured out. Is Gen 3 the Asylum Challenge? Yes, it is. Gen 3 is the Asylum Challenge. We are going to start building the Asylum, I believe, on... I believe on Friday, I believe? Yeah, we're going to be building the Asylum on Friday. And get started with that. And I'm thinking of building like a Victorian styled home like not a mansion but like a victorian two-story home with enough rooms for eight sims uh miss ass jack thank you for the host my computer not my computer being slow i've been seeing some beat saber um tiktoks and videos one youtuber that i know um i as cupquake used to do a bunch of like videos on that game Uh, Seals, welcome in. How are you? It's not always super obvious that refreshers have caffeine. It really is, and that's where they get you. They trick you. It's like, have a refresher. I'm like, oh, okay, easy. I'll drink it. And then you're like, why am I so hyper? Some coffee at Starbucks can be strong. Oh, it can be. Nowadays, all I get at Starbucks when they have it are the old-fashioned donuts, and those are really good. You like the dragon drink refresher at Starbucks? 
What does it taste like? Oh yeah, Beat Saber is a really good workout. I've never like used it, but I like using Just Dance. Hello, Miss Ash Jack, welcome in. You're still on the phone. My computer always slow when I first get on. It's like, hmm, is Dab going to buy more Disney stuff or mod for Spring Sims? We'll decide. <laughs> Your computer is like, hmm. Let's make, let's be slow for a minute. <laughs> uh, so far, I think uh, Neville's episodes are the best. Oh, I believe you. Neville's episodes are hilarious. I always like, whenever I play Among Us with all of like my Simmer friends, I always say you'll rue the day because of Neville. Uh, got to try the demo of Beat Saber because my cousin got VR headset and it's even more fun. Then it's watching. Oh, looks like watching it. Oh, yeah. I agree with you 100%. Like, playing it looks so much fun. It makes me want to be buy a VR set, like, now. But I don't want to buy a VR set. Because when will I use it? It's a thing. You know? What refreshes are you getting? I don't know. I forget what the ones that I got. They have refreshes at Dunkin' Donuts since when? I agree. The one that I got um, at Starbucks so long ago was, um, I think, the Strawberry Refresher. I've never had a pink drink before, ever. I think that has, like, milk in it. I always say the one that doesn't have milk, I'll take it. Starbucks blonde, uh, blonde roast expressos taste less bitter than the regular roast. Has a higher level of caffeine due to the lighter roast. Ah, and you would think it would be the opposite, but no. <laughs> you would think you see me do Among Us with Little Simsy and uh, stream sometimes, and I always cackle when I hear you say you'll rue the day. Why did she leave the turkey in the oven? Oh my goodness. My Sims want to burn down the house. I swear. You love the dragon drinks? It's very pinkish. Oh, it has mango dragon fruit. Oh, I've never had dragon fruit before. Interesting. If you're angry, stop complaining. Oh, they have no food. That's why. I was making food for all of them. Whenever I get enough stars for a free drink, I get the... Uh, Panja dragon drink. Ah. No, I totally understand. You say it all the day. <laughs> yeah. VR is nice, except you get uh you get vertigo or have motion sickness problems. Really? Usually was I don't really get motion sickness half the time. Um, but that's interesting. Pink drinks are the best. Oh, I believe you. I only know about the pink drink because of James Charles. Because he always said pinkity drinkity all the time. Is it? Oh, this is random. But are there Sims 4 packs you recommend? Seasons Parenthood, Tiny Living, and Country Kitchen Kit. Those are my favorites. Uh, it's T Rose. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today, bestie? Welcome, welcome in, everyone. I hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine morning. How was your stream? What did you all do? And Bella, welcome in. How are you doing? Um, sorry, the pink drink reminds me of, you know, who? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Pinkity drinkity. I said the name. <laughs> but welcome in. Welcome in. I hope your stream went well. If you're popping in for the first time, we are doing the Mix Match Legacy Challenge today in The Sims 4. We're on Gen 2, which is the A to Z Baby Challenge. <laughs> but welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. Um, let's see. What is the one pack in The Sims 4 you can't live without with? Seasons. I seriously cannot live without Seasons. It's one of my all-time all favorite packs of all time. There we go. Uh, we were building the Bridgerton house. The Bridgerton house? I still need to watch that show. It's on my recommended on Netflix. I need to watch it. 
badly. <laughs> um, but I'm doing so far so good. We just aged up a couple of our kids recently and moved them out. And we're only three kids away from finishing this challenge before we move on to Gen 2, which is the Asylum Challenge. But so far, so good. I honestly am like very happy and over the moon because this challenge has been one of my favorites that I've started. And it's a challenge that I created myself. And so far, I only have nine generations kind of planned out that I've written backstories for and kind of gave like the basics for so far. But I'm still skeptical on Gen 10 through 13 because Gen 10 is the apocalypse challenge, but I feel like that's too hard. And I think I might make uh, my own challenge for Gen 10. That kind of makes sense a little bit. Um, yeah, so far so good. So far so good. I'm looking forward to uh, Gen 3 because the Asylum Challenge is a challenge I've never done before, but I've seen done by my friend, the English Simmer, who has played that challenge on her YouTube channel. Uh, for some for some reason, regular dragon fruit kind of tastes like nothing. It's a dehydrated dragon fruit. Uh, it tastes good, but it's probably because of the extra sweetened. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, my ad I just got just mixed your voice and the ad itself. Oh my goodness. Really? And thank you for the posture check. Also, save your game, besties. Save your game. Okay. There we go. What about a throwback? The Apocalypse Challenge with a throwback. It really is. I've also been trying to, like update these challenges in my own way because they are very outdated like very outdated so i feel like adding my own spin to it would make it more fun that's awesome i love the mixture thank you i think it's really interesting and i started doing this challenge with rags to riches because i love being poor in the sims i mean like who doesn't love being poor in the sims judas ward doesn't but you know I do. <laughs> uh, you've never done either. I'm excited. We're going to be starting the that challenge probably next week after we finish building the, uh, the asylum home. I feel like this, it's not going to take too long to finish. It depends on like your, your speed and how often you play the game. I feel it should be pretty easy because technically this is the only baby challenge in this challenge that you have to do because having 26 kids in the game can be very daunting and a lot of work but I feel like the other one should be okay um I don't know I, I guess it depends because certain gens don't have any career but some do so it should be interesting plus I feel like also the more packs that we get in The Sims 4 and more updates in base game, I feel like it'll be more enjoyable, you know? This challenge does look cool. I love the baby count on the screen. Thank you. Because I do be forgetting sometimes. Oh, and speaking of this, since you all came in here from a raid, and if you're new to the challenge, let me show you the family tree here real quickies. The family tree is um progressing. It's a growing. And of course, I have more than 26 kids in this family tree because the way I did it is that, um, is I counted every occult baby as two since they're half human and half supernatural. I'm kind of counting it based off of the 100 baby challenge. If you have an occult baby, count them as two. So it's easier and get the challenge done quicker. But with this one, you might run out of like, like babies like count wise, but you still have like letters in the alphabet still left. So you keep going. Uh, being poor in the Sims makes you realize all the stuff you have. It really does. Being poor, it really does. It really does. And what's so surprising 
is that some of our kids are going to start dying soon. Corey, Calvin, Kamala, Barry is going to be the first one to die out of all the kids we've had so far. And they already have three kids, so they're dying soon. <laughs> it's kind of funny that our son is older than us. Makes no sense. <laughs> it's weird. You started the 100 baby challenge yesterday. How are you liking it so far? Is it going great? Are you losing your mind? Because I sure would. I would lose my mind with that challenge. I completed it in like one year. Luckily, I stringed the entire thing, so it made it easier for me. Thingies and toesies. I know so many. The family tree is crazy. You should see. You know what? Actually, hold up. Let's take a pause real quick. Oh, never mind. I can't. I can't because I don't know which save file it's, it is in. I was going to show you my other save file that I had from a long time ago. It was when I did the 300 baby challenge and that save file is no longer in my game because I removed it and put it in my external hard drive folder. And I can't remember where I put it though. It's the thing. I don't know. Let's see. Saves. Oh, oh, here it is. Wait, hold up. Let me, go, let me do something real quick. Yeah, I want to show you real quick. Oh, uh, this challenge looks interesting. I think I'm going to give it a try. I recommend it. I get so frustrated with the babies in The Sims. I'm astonished by people who complete the 100 baby challenge. Honestly, same. Look what I did. I backed up my save file. I even named it too. I named it the 300 baby challenge because that's what it is. Um, but let me put this in my game because I want to show you how crazy the family tree looks. Surprisingly, the thing still works, which is very funny. Let's see. It's in here. Load game. Where is it at? It's down here somewhere. 300 baby challenge. <laughs> the family tree is insane. I hate how toddlers are so cute, but so stressful. Same. I say, give them a Wabbit tablet. They'll be fine. A Wabbit tablet keeps them busy. That's all I do. It's like, here, take a tablet. Go about your life. I'm good. I'm just going to sit back and relax. <laughs> That's what I usually do half the time. Okay. You all are not ready for this family tree. You have no idea. I've been playing the same save file since... When did we start this? Back in, I believe we started this in 2019. Yeah, we started this same save file since 2019, the beginning of 2019 with the 100 baby challenge. And then we moved off after that with the Black Widow and then 300. So ooh, pre, yeah, the pre pandemic. Oh, oopsies. So this was the last child to be born in the series or she was the 300th child to be born in my save. And her name is Hunter Sailor. After seeing the list of your saves, I don't feel so bad. I have more than 12 saves. More than 12. Queen Wishes shirt. It got deleted. I blame custom content. It happens. I'm going to change her outfit though. Oh, she has literally nothing. Oh my gosh. What in the world? What CC did I delete? <laughs> I deleted a lot of CC out of my game. Anyway, um, you can see there's literally only one icon. Just literally nothing. Look, look at this. Gray icons. L look, look at this. Do you see this? It just keeps going. Oh, look, there's one. There's one. <laughs> there's two. It just keeps. Oh, look, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there bella can you try not to spam um emotes that will be really helpful spamming emotes does not do well you get timed out by that please do not spam emotes um it just keeps going it just keeps going it keeps going <laughs> it keeps going oh my gosh the family tree never ends this is the most kids i've ever had in the sims 4 ever Take a tap. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 
So Lucius Sonic Sailor had all these kids. Like basically to describe the 300 baby challenge, I did it male edition where I got everyone pregnant in The Sims 4. So I went to household to household to household and got every single Sim pregnant that could have kids. And it happened. And um, <laughs> my family tree is so berserkly jacked up. These lines, these lines, you have never seen a family tree this chaotic in your entire life. I mean, Play With May has done the 100 baby challenge and had over 300 kids with one single sim, but I don't think she's ever had a family tree look like this, ever. This is so cursed. It just keeps going. I don't even know who is who. Gwenodon Sigworth? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this family tree is chaotic. If you thought doing a challenge like this was hard, I've got you, don't worry. Wesley Huntington the third. If anyone's wondering, spring I yeah, if you're wondering, I did this male edition. I got every single sim pregnant in the Sims 4 that could be pregnant. So male sim, female sim, alien, I don't care what they were, as long as they got pregnant, I did it. So <laughs> it was a time. Olivia Darby, Randy Darby, like I don't know who had kids with who because how jacked up it is like some of the kids are still alive some are dead of course it's so hard to describe it's ridiculous oh here is um if i can find christian that would be really great so my friend christian uh was doji cat beyonce marshall okay doji cat Beyonce Marshall. Some of the names in this are absolutely insane. Okay, Shoe Conspiracy. We're getting closer. Here it is. Christian Conspiracy. I found him. Christian, out of all the kids I've had in this challenge, had literally the most kids and grandkids and great grands in this one save. Like, here's Christian Conspiracy. If you go all the way, just keep going. Keep going. Look at this. Do you see this? The raccoon in the family tree. His name is Tom Crook. Tom Crook. This is what you chose to do in Wizzy Life? I really did. Yeah. Of course, one of them had to be named Christian. Yeah. <laughs> had multiple kids. I can, yeah. I'm going to send that. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. All of Christian's kids. Their last name is Daddy, which is very funny, which I don't know why. I don't know why, why, who, who, Bella Daddy, who? Van Hope, I don't know who that is, Savannah Hope, who in the world is, I'm sorry, excuse me, Savannah Hope is one of the kids that we had, oh my, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is cursed, this is cursed, this is cursed, this is cursed, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up, I'm, oh, oh gosh. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Here, here, let's, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Do you see this? Okay. Here's the matriarch of the 300 baby challenge. Lucius Sonic Sailor. Their kid was Christian Conspiracy. But what's so weird, what makes my brain hurt so much is that you go down the family tree, they're related. These kids are related like these two kids are related. These two kids are related. Not like this. Not like this. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You know, I was gonna find it at one point, but then we found it. Cold Huntington the third. Clay, whatever that last name is. Joshua, whatever that last name is. It's like, <laughs> look at the family, making it full circle. Looking more like a family circle, you know? See, this is why I wish we had more like family, like um, relationships in The Sims 4. So this stuff wouldn't happen, you know? 
when the family tree comes a full circle. It really does. Um, you know what I wish? I wish I could go up to this other family tree right here. So Valentina is technically generation two of the 100 baby challenge because our first, our first gen of the 100 baby died. And so we had to move on to gen two, basically of that 100 baby. And so Valentina had the rest of the kids, the rest of the kids. I miss it. How closely are we? How closely are they related? Oh, they're really related. Oh no. Hold up. Where's Christian? It's weird because like Christian had a kid right here. Like when you really look at it, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It just goes on forever. Uh, where is that? You? Yeah, you. No, it's you. Wait, where is it at? Oh, no, no. The last thing, daddy, that's what it is. Here it is. So look, you see this? So Lucius and Christian, they are, they are both father and son. Okay. Father and son. We got that right now. Christian had a kid. Lucius had a kid. Keep in mind that Savannah Hope and Christian are still siblings, brother and sister. Christian had a kid, Colt Huntington the third with somebody. And then Colt had a kid named Clay Colt had a kid named Joshua. Savannah had a kid named Van Hope. Keep in mind, Bella Daddy and Joshua are siblings. They are siblings within the same, like, same family. When you really think about it. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Because if Christian was down further, it would make more sense, but it doesn't. It's just like my brain cannot wrap a like wrap around to all this because it's freaky. But also the reason why they're blue is because they're aliens. That's also the reason why. It's very confusing because it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's hard to explain because it's so confusing. But I cannot believe I had all these kids and they had kids. This is what I call multi-generational. But, okay, but are they siblings or are they cousins? Well, actually, no, they they might be cousins. Now that I'm thinking about it, they might actually be, no, yeah, they're cousins. Not siblings, cousins. Even worse, they're both cousins. Because mm, 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 mm. it's even worse. <laughs> Either way, it's still weird. Fourth cousin once removed, maybe. Yeah, I can see that, but still weird. Zoom out because I want to see how big this is. Oh, look at this. Do you see this ambition? How big this family tree is? The lines just still go. I can't believe they're still having kids. It's ridiculous. I wish I could zoom out in The Sims 4 with the family tree, but I can't. I can only technically go side by side. <laughs> they should really have a zoom out feature in The Sims 4 for family trees. They really should. So technically we are on the fourth generation of the Sailor family. And I want to continue the save file and do the decades challenge, but I want to do another challenge. Maybe the career legacy challenge is what I want to do next with the save. That's my plan. <laughs> and that's what I think I might just do. The career legacy challenge. Imagine the family reunions. Oh, it'd be wild. The family tree is easier when you're not having 300. It really is. When you're not having 300 kids, it's easier. Mr. Cheese Stick Craft. What? These names are ridiculous. What are these names? I don't understand. Ethan Pink, Crystal Chapman. Like, what? Se wait, Celery? Not Celery. Coral, Lu Lucifer, Rowan, 
topaz, basil pancakes, flamingo, Gemini, who's not a Gemini, air fryer. I just, I don't understand. McDonald's, middle child halfway, very job bug cat, like Justice Goth, Rick Jambles daddy. That's where it came from, the last name daddy. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that name at all. I really don't. Boy. Oh, what's so funny? So at the very start, okay, at the very start of the 100 Baby Challenge in 2019, I couldn't be bothered to name any of the kids' names. And I think this was around the time when Bird Box became a thing. And so I started naming some of the kids boy and girl because I refused to name the kids. And it was a, a, fun, a funny running joke. Dory, Lemon, Naomi, Chad. What else? Joe, Echo Tick. Uh, Rochelle, mm, what's another good name? M Mikey. Oh, we had a kid named Lack, like three kids. Lack, Toast, Intolerant. Lack, Toast, Intolerant. Um, Toenail, Froggy, Babette, Shirley, like Shirley Tempo, Obi-Wan. Before, this was, I think this was before Strangerville. This was before Strangerville when we got Obi-Wan. Because we completed it around in 2020. Uh, I only tell, I'm telling you, I'm playing the 100 Baby Challenge and you show me this giant family tree. Now you know what, you, what you're getting into. You're welcome. <laughs> Street Sweeper. Uh, Wazowski. DJ. Ariel. Maul. Amelia. Did this say bimbo? Bimbo blue? No. Poppy? Recorder? I don't know. There was like another name that we had. Oh, Mumfler. We had a Mumfler. Uarbis. Arlo. Barbecue Cornelius Hatch. Barbecue Cornelius Hatch. I just... Bath... Bathtub. Okay. Uh, Patty. Peter. Liam, Bell, those are normal names. Um, Bob Greenberg, what is another one? Shoe Conspiracy, Tom Crook, by the way, um, Burbert, Bur Burbert Longhill, uh, Bun Bun Foo Foo, like bunny, little bunny Foo Foo walking through the forest, um, Broccolini Shrek Daddy. Hey, Behind, how are you? Uh, BRB making a sim generator based off these names? Yes. And what's even funnier, you all named these kids. Every kid we ever had in this challenge, you all named them. Baths have imagined these kids asking their parents why. Broccolini. Broccolini Shrek Daddy. Imagine having that name IRL. Iconic. <laughs> and another one was called Free Shavakadu. Free Shavakadu. Um, hello, are you Coral, Susan, Gary, woohoo, Chad, daddy, autumn wannabe, just woke up and now I'm getting ready. Ooh, woo. Doja cat, Beyonce, Marshall, uh, Aquafino, Lockett, pilot inspector, Kira Slayler, that's normal. Twizzler Tinker, because I think we had a kid with Tina Tinker, and uh, Twizzler Tinker was born. <laughs> this is really making me laugh out loud. You're welcome. Oh, that says Tesco Club Card Tinker. Tesco Club Card Tinker? Oh, my Lord. Slim Jim Daddy. Slim Jim Daddy. Um, what, what's another one I think we had? I think we started naming some kids after like Disney characters. We had Hype Train Bed Springs, um, Judy Hops or Judy Hops uh, Lewis from Zootopia, Burger, another one, Soda Pop, Walrus McFarless, <laughs> Russell Sprout. 
Yeet Marbs, Yeet, um, Elsa, after Anna and Elsa, Zoe, Clyde Thick, Clyde the Thick Darby. <laughs> uh, it is not so good for me to be laughing this loud. I'm, I'm getting sick. I hope you feel better with a sore throat, but I'm dying from laughter. <laughs> Uh, Flynn Ryder, Rapunzel, uh, Asmund Grace. I think it was like Amazing Grace is what was like the reference behind that name. Um, Gaston McAllister II, uh, Aurora, Colton, uh, another one. What other was it? Uh, let's see. By Felicia. <laughs> By Felicia still alive. Uh, Shaquita Reckles, Shaquita Reckles Alexa. What are these names? I can't believe this. <laughs> and Bishop, it's fine. You would have a lot of fun with this challenge. The key thing is to take your time with it and not like rush through it. That's what I did. Yeet, not being confused with other siblings. Yeet, yeah, yeah. Um, Air Chips Rice. Um, another one, AirPods Pro. Sid. Um, Dab Avani Rosebud. Bambi. We got Bambi and Bimbo. Um, but honestly, no, Am Ambiship, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Don't worry. This is just like fun and games. And what's even funnier though, I didn't take care of any of these kids. I got the sim pregnant and I stayed until the baby was born and then I left to another household. I was like a, a deadbeat dad in this game. It was just awful. <laughs> I didn't take care of any of them. Um, corn brown, nugget. Uh, another one was Tabitha, and then chicken. Chicken. I knew I love this community for a reason. Very good. Chicken. They're an intelligence researcher in the business career. Chicken Sterling is in the business career as an intelligence researcher. That's nice. I love how you're you're so proud of not taking care of the kids. I mean, after doing the 100 baby, I was like, I can't do it anymore. I can't. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I couldn't do it anymore. I think we kind of got through all the names that were kind of ridiculous. Um, I think so. Did we? Yeah, we, we basically did. Yeah. After a while, some of the kids got normal names. Oh, no, no, we, we're not done yet. We're not done. <laughs> we're not done. Mr. Cheese Stick Craft, now Ursula, Wednesday, Wednesday Sears. I think we saw the end somewhere. Uh, accident. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> accident. Dad. Uh, dab. Um, Alexander. And I think we did have a kid called The End, I'm pretty sure. Spirit Ebbs, <laughs> Spirit Ebbs, oh my gosh. Um, Savannah Hope, Offspring Triplette, um, Squishy Darby, uh, Free Fork Knife, Free Fork Knife. This is Nugget, Shrek Daddy, and our newest baby, Tabitha. Yes. Pickle, Pickle Woo, Pickle Woo. Let that sink in. Weenie McQueenie. Why? Um, Muffin. Hunter Sailor. That's nice. Uh, Gerald. Breezy Tum Water. This sounds awful. Joshua. Firefly. Merlin. But I think we had a kid called literally The End. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a kid called Sock. I think we had one at one point. But I don't remember. And I believe The End is still alive or they might be dead. I don't remember. I'm enjoying the A to C, uh, a to, uh, ABC challenge, Jen, even though it's hectic because my sim is taking care of the kids, bringing the back moves of 100 baby with a new twist. Also taking care of many toddlers when I first started off. Six were quite a challenge. Oh, I believe you. The fact that there, fa the fact there was a kid named after my misspelling of a few words was priceless. Priceless. I, yeah, I can't remember. We did name a kid called The End, but I just didn't remember. 
Because I know we named this kid Middle Child Halfway because we were at 150 kids at that point. Um, they died as a C-lister, which is very funny. Um, there was a lot of names that we had that we went through and it was ridiculous. It was hilarious on how these kids managed to stay alive. I can't believe we named the kid named Toenail. Toenail of all things. Toenail. It's like Toenail. Raise your hand if your name is Toenail. I pass over Carla. One of the most normal names out there. Carla. Normal. <laughs> Sarah, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going good. Oh, that's Jalen. That's, oh, Nemo. There was Nemo. Savannah Onana. Catherine. What, okay, what is, what is this? What is that name? What is that? I don't understand. Would I ever do this again? Just for the laughs? Maybe. Go to 600 next time? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the name at all. It says, it says, huh, K. BND 78 was well, 798 Ocean. What is that? O slash my name is Toenail. Nice. <laughs> that name is weird. Ariel, Alexia's, Arlo, Uarbus, Mumfler. Barbecue Cornelius Hutchison, the most interesting I've ever heard in my entire life. Bathtub, Patty, Peter, Liam, Belle, Aria, Bob car christian yeah i don't know she has numbers in her name yes she's like um elon musk's child that name is um interesting but there's a meaning behind that name and now i know why but that name is just too long new idea name the children one word after a movie title so you have enough children to finish the movie title Ooh, that's a good name we might even try that out but um that's the family tree. I hope you like it. I hope you like the family tree. Out of all the kids we had. <laughs> uh, I just got back from the grocery store and the bank. Ooh, woo. That's good. I'm getting some stuff done. I hope your day is going well. My day is going really well. I was going through all the names that we had from our last challenge we did a long time ago the 300 baby challenge and it was um what i would call a time and a half going through all those names an interesting time fun time but interesting because i think we can we completed this challenge in seven months the 300 baby because it took so it was so quickly the 100 baby took one year to be exact from 2019 to tw to the end of 2019 and then at the start of 2020 we did black widow took like i think maybe three or four weeks to complete and then we started doing the 300 baby and that took seven months so chicken is just your favorite <laughs> chicken 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 sterling i'm surprised that half of the kids were still alive but I know that some of them are going to die soon because in that world, what I did, because the family sheet was becoming so large and so like hectically crazy. And in order for the game to like run properly and not break on me every 20 seconds, I had to basically turn every single, uh, turn every single uh, occult to humans, like spellcasters, aliens, vampires, mermaids, all into humans so they would die quicker. And so we wouldn't have like a bunch of like aliens still being alive and having kids, you know? So we'll see how that works um, in the end result because it should be interesting. And I kind of want to do a poll because here's my thinking. I want to do the career legacy challenge, but I also want to complete the not so berry challenge and do the extended version. So like, what do you think? Should I do the extended version of the not so berry challenge or should I do the career legacy challenge in that save we just saw? Because I want to do both. But I'm like, I don't want to overwhelm myself with too many challenges, you know? Imagine some struggling to name their kids and one couple is like, here's a little toenail. Like, here's our little toenail. They just, they 
were born on this day and this hour and they were they're thriving and it's like why did you name your kid toenail why not toenail toenail is the best name ever <laughs> it goes with everything you'll make one awesome awesome uh what were the choices again um not still berry challenge extended version or um the career legacy challenge yeah, Shella made the career legacy challenge where each generation is a different career. <laughs> and also, uh, Louis Goldman, welcome in. How are you doing? Child, you're not tired. Calm down. Be happy. You're fine. I like these kids are at school. Because, I mean, with the extended version, it isn't, it's not going to take that long, technically, since it's only three more generations. Whereas, not... Whereas Career Legacy is 26. So I don't know. It's up to you all what you want me to do. Because I'd be fine with ending Not So Berry where we ended off with Gen 10. But mm -hmm. uh, I got to run to your appointment. Have a nice stream. Well, Daf Daf, thank you for being here. Appreciate the company as always. Alrighty, besties. Vote in the poll. Which one you want me to do? Which one should I do next? Not So Berry Extended or the Career Legacy Challenge? Who's calling me? Academic punishment? Yes. There we go. I'm doing really good today. We are working on the career. No, we're working on the A to Z baby challenge at the moment. And honestly, it is going really, really great. I've been having a lot of fun today. Today and yesterday were like the highlights of my life. I went to go, I went through my family tree of a previous challenge I did. And I found Marshall yesterday in Animal Crossing. I don't know. It was just, I just feel good. I feel happy again. Sims has better news than they did before. And it's just like, times are changing, but in a good way. Oh, it looks like Career Legacy Challenge is winning. Ooh. We're going to call over our alien friend. And hopefully we can have our last and final baby today. That's my plan. I want to have twins. I have room for the twins. Did you call them over? Invite over to a certain lot. Have you ever done a baby challenge before, Lewis Goldman? If you have, I would love to know. Because I feel like baby challenges, depending on what you're doing with them, it can be pretty easy. Like the 100 baby isn't that hard Unless you have certain lot traits on your lot and you have Wabbit tablets for all the toddlers so they can like get them and just go about their day. You just pooped your pants? No. Oh no. Okay. Actually, where is your tablet, by the way? Wait, where is your tablet? Oh no. Oh no. Where's your tablet, bestie? Where did it go? Did you lose your tablet or did we take it? Oh, wrong sim. You have the tablet out in your hand. Never mind. Wrong sim. There we go. Anyway. It has been a day and a half. Oh, hello. Brittany Baby Berry. Nice to see ya. Nice to see ya, Brittany Baby Berry. We're going to kiss your hand. We're going to brighten your day. And then we're going to offer a rose. This alien better give me twins or I'm going to riot. Bugle. Change numbers. Hey, Saturn. Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going pretty well. And it looks like the career, the career legacy challenge won in the poll with 18 votes. So once we complete the not so berry challenge at gen 10, that is when we'll start um, the career legacy challenge. So just so you know when that will be happening once we finish the not so berry. And Brindlin Bay, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate so, so much. Uh, right now you're doing not so berry and it's the only challenge I've ever started. How are you liking it so far? Because we are currently on gen eight of not so berry. 
And we're going to be soon on Gen 9. Because we just got promoted to, to level 9, I believe, in the career. And we have one more level left. And then we're done. I'm so excited. And uh, Kel is Twitcher. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, hope your day is going pretty well. But I'm doing good overall. We are playing our A to Z baby challenge at the moment. And we're trying to kind of have our last and final kids before we start working on the asylum challenge next. And Hutch plays, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? What's the career legacy challenge like? So the way it works with the career legacy challenge, it's where each generation is a different career. And I can actually pull up the rules for you for, um, because my friend Rochella made the challenge and I believe I can find it. Here it is. Uh, here it is. I found it. Here it is. Yeah. So each generation is a different career and it's based on the alphabet. So if you wanted to like start with, it starts with the actor career with get famous and then goes down in the alphabet. Um, the first gen of Natsuberi challenge is a little rough trying to get all the elements. Oh, it is really tough. I agree with you. Natsuberi gen one is hard, but this is what it looks like with the career legacy challenge. Each gen is a different career. You have to complete that career. And there's like certain like skills you can do that are optional. If you want to do like a hard mode, um, which I kind of like actually that there are optional things you can do like side quests, hard mode, um, and what's even cooler about this is that it goes in every single letter of the alphabet from A through Z. And I believe the last career is stylish influencer career because there's no Z career in The Sims 4. And it would be hard to do this, um, do this challenge if you don't have all the packs. But, um, it is really fun though overall. And I, I feel like you can skip over the few if you don't have, um, yeah. It, she at least says if you don't have a, per, a pack necessary for that career or that generation, you can skip that generation. Yeah. So if you don't have a certain pack, just skip it. Which is like kind of understandable, which is perfect. Um, and they're, they're also in different languages too, um, so far based on certain careers. And you love it and you're on the gray generation. Ooh, I really love the gray generation. Um, you've been playing the career legacy and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Oh, nice. What's been your favorite career so far uh, for it? I'm also thinking of actually getting a way where I can get some of the, um, my challenge translated in other languages. So if you know other languages and you want to help translate the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge, that would be very helpful uh, if you would like to help with that. Just let my mods know and then they can uh, get you ready. Um, it is really interesting. And uh, Jenny, gracefully, uh, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? Wait, did the alien just leave? Oh my, I wasn't paying attention. I had my game unpaused. Um, but I'm glad that you're here. You want to try out this challenge? I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Each gen is a different challenge. I say go for it. Have fun. Thank you, Dab. Career Luxie looks fun. It is. You'll be RB. All good, all good. You've never done a gameplay challenge other than Rags to Riches. And it wasn't strict with the rules or anything. And I want to try the Nats to Berry, though. Honestly, I say go for it. Not so very is fun, but there's so many things you got to do. But I think that's kind of like the point of the challenge, doing things that you haven't done before. Because like half of the careers I have not done myself fully. And even like most of the skills and aspirations I've never done fully. 
um, certainly on the conservationist, but I love doing the athlete career because I made it a storyline for my sim as a competitive climber. And she also climbed a mountain and had a lot of fun with that one. Oh, good. That's good. I actually have been thinking of doing my own storyline with that too, because we're going to carry over um, our previous challenge we did, the 300 baby challenge with the career legacy and um, see how that kind of works with our backstory. So I'm going to write something for myself for each gen and make it work. Oh, that's good. Because I feel like with the story, it makes it more enjoyable. I figure with people asking for the past few days, we need it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Am I pregnant? I'm pregnant. Yay. I'm with child. And I'm having twins. Besties, I'm having twins. And now this could mean, this could mean one or two things. One could be human, one could be an alien. Now, if it's an alien baby, one baby, we count it as two. And if we get a human baby, that's three, and that's all we technically need. But then again, we would need one more baby, technically, to finish the A to Z challenge. But still great with twins. Don't tell them. You and all the packs, I'm certainly exploring a lot of gameplay for the first time. And that's good. I've been experiencing new gameplay as well. Like with Get to Work, I didn't really play with that pack as much when it first came out. Even though I do like the interactive careers that it that it brought along, I feel like it does need like a refresh of some sort for me to enjoy it more. But doing challenges that require those careers or the retail system kind of makes me see it in a different light, you know? That's good. That's good. You have an A in school, you can age up and get out of my house. Do you have a cake in here? We do, bestie, time to age up and get out. Age up, age up, age up. Thank you. You're a vegetarian, ooh woo. Add birthday candles, please. And then I'm going to move you out of the home. So let's have you pause. Oops, pause. Uh, remove from family. There we go. Hey, Peach. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell on this fine almost afternoon. Welcome, welcome in. I was, was, I was literally just showing off. Um... I was just showing off the uh, 300 baby challenge family tree earlier, and it was wild. <laughs> You're doing well in school. Leave immediately. <laughs> That's what I do all the time with all these kids. And like, you have an A in school. You can age up. If you're a teen, you have an A. Age up and get out. I feel like an awful parent, but also a well-educated parent, too. I teach my kids good, good get good grades, and then leave. Go out into the world and use your knowledge for good. <laughs> I'm doing really good today. I feel so happy because we've picked out the next challenge we wanted to do um, after the Not So Berry. And we're doing the Career Legacy Challenge next. But then also, we are finishing this generation today for our mixed match. <laughs> The 300 baby challenge family tree is ridiculous. Oh, wait, I want to show you. Let me uh, find the screenshot. I took the screenshot of all of Christian's kids. Look at this. Look at this. You definitely want to try out that challenge, but I got to do some CC shopping, update my mods. Very good. I need to go CC shopping for myself. I've been very behind. And Mr. Uh, Groovy Hat, welcome in. I'm kind of new to the game. I'm not sure how that works. Like, what are you particularly looking for? Like, how, like, how you do, like, certain interactions and jobs and everything? Um, for, like, with the, with the game itself, the way it works, it kind of plays autonomously. Like, it kind of does it by itself. If you go into the game, 
and um, you kind of start a household, you have the option to have your Sims have free will. Basically, they'll do whatever they want by themselves without having you do anything, basically. But if you wanted to have your Sims have a career, you can, you can do it one or two ways. Through the phone or through the computer to get a job in The Sims 4. But then another way is just not having a job at all. So, yeah. Um, but, like... It's a, it's a really simple process of like playing this game. Like if you are a micromanager, you can micromanage literally everything you want. If you want to have your Sims watch TV, click on the TV and have them like watch something on TV. This kind of boosts up their fun, their uh, their fun need because TV is fun. And if you want your Sims to do homework, you go to their inventory and then click on their homework book and have them do homework. But there are tutorials in the game itself to teach you how to play this game, like learning lessons, basically. For each and every pack that we have in The Sims 4, they are different like lessons that teach you like about lifestyles, uh, snow swords, which honestly I have not done in a long time. Yeah, each pack have different lessons that teach you different things on what it truly entails. For every pack and it's so worth it if you're brand spanking new to the sims 4 for the very first time and like even in build mode too build mode teaches teaches you everything apartments basements every single thing from down to the windows live mode every single skill that known to man that we have in the game create a pet and create a sim but yeah if you ever like need any more like Needed me to clarify anything else, I am more than happy to answer them. TV is V fun. Speaking of TV, I just finished watching WandaVision on Disney Plus yesterday, and I feel very happy. Another thing, too, is that Secrets of Sulphur Springs season two has officially come out, and all the episodes are on Disney Plus. And for that, I am very happy. Oh, but anyway, here's Christian's family tree, by the way, Peach. Here's Christian's kids. Christian had five kids. Christian has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Kids, grandkids, great grandkids, and then great, great grandkids. This is his entire family lineage ridiculous so many kids not compared to how many kids i have now in the 300 it's wild really really wild and what's even funnier though he's the only kid i've had that had the most kids and the most grandkids and great grand and great great grandkids <laughs> i can't barely keep three um, but mystery, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, also, uh, Ambition, if you're still here, um, and if you have the Vampire Game Pack, here's my recommendation. If you want to get your kids um, who are like teens or children to get their like school skills leveled up quicker, I recommend having them read the Vampire Lore books because their skills go faster with that book and that skill better than anything else that we have in the game. It goes up by way quicker. It's way better. And you can kick them out faster. <laughs> At least that's what I do. Um, it's so worth it. Oh, we don't have a good skill yet in the vampire lore to get another a better skill, you say? Interesting. Lucky and Ravenclaw, welcome in, welcome in. How you been, how you be? Twitch Mobile is horrible, it really do be. Twitch Mobile is a pain. I think there's also like a delay with Twitch Mobile too, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you wanna do the, one, the Vampire 100 Baby Challenge? No. That would make me scream because I would have to literally keep their needs and their vampire like needs up to par so they won't die in the sun 
um, I would I would scream to the heavens if I had to do that. I've thought about it, but it was like, mm, no. Who died? Oh, you've been outside this whole time. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but not sorry. Go eat food. Go eat food, besties. Eat the food. My poor toddler's is going to get taken away. Just you wait. Yes, yes, will do. You die in the sun, same. I don't like sunlight that much. Ooh, yes, I do have a playlist of the 100 Baby Challenge. If you want to go watch back that VOD, you can, or VODs. I'm thinking of also categorizing it where I do, because um, I did it with for the Not So Berry Challenge, but I also want to do it for the Sailor Legacy Challenge. Um, yeah, I did it for the Not So Berry. I'll make another category for 100 Baby, 300, and Black Widow in that order so it makes sense. Yeah. Huh. Uh, me either. I like to stay in, in, in the dark person. Yeah. I'm like, sunlight? What's that? I don't know what that is. Sunlight's scary. I feel like I'm a vampire half of the time. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Not my stove catching on fire. Did I break it? I broke my stove. Fix my stove, please. Jeez Louise, I've never seen that before in my life. Go potty. Go potty. I've also learned that at least what I do for my rules for my toddlers is I try to have my toddlers get to level five in a certain skill. That way I can age them up right then and there. So it's easier for them and also for me. But let me just bathe my kids because they're always so smelly. The bright lights in the sky hurt my eyes. I believe you. This is a cute little house. Thank you. I did not build this house myself. Well, I did. I just kind of renovated it make it to make it bigger. That way we have more room for all, all of our kids. I added an extension to the home for the kids to sleep in here instead of in here in my room. Are they just... What is this? What is that? <laughs> Why is this so funny? It's like, child, you smelly. I'm going to bathe you. <laughs> and it's like, I don't want a bath. <laughs> I think that's very hilarious. We're just staring off into the void. And I have my game unpaused too. She looks annoyed. It's like, child, you smelly. You need to be bathed like now. So do all of my kids. That's just sad. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset you, actually. Oh, now they move. Now they move. Bathe the toddler. Bathe Wally. My, uh, my eye doctor says I don't need light in my eye. If I get light, he says I need to wear sunglasses for the light. I have sunglasses that I bought from H&M back in 2014, but I don't wear them because I wear my glasses all the time. And I need my glasses to see on the road. I'm so bad at going outside. I'm just, I've just been on a high dose vitamin D. Same. Same. I only go outside when it's necessary. This boy fell asleep in the tub. I can't. He fell asleep while taking a bath. Oh, this poor child. Go potty and then go to the bath uh, and then go to bed. That poor kid. He fell asleep. I do have a CC Finds Tumblr. I do indeed. I am one follower away on my main Tumblr from getting a thousand, which is so wild. I need to, I need, also need to reblog a few more things on my CC Finds Tumblr. That way, um, it's a little bit more up to date. And I think this year I want to categorize it more this year than I did last year. Because last year, I just kind of gave up on categorizing everything. But now, I'm going to again. It just took a lot of time and effort, you know? 
You can sleep on the couch. Yes. And you're welcome. She looks, she looks done with life. She's done it, of having all these kids. Oh no, they don't have school today. Not these, actually, hold up. I'm gonna edit this. Y'all going to school if you like it or not. These kids are going to school. I don't care if it's a holiday, they're going to school. What if I just cancel the whole holiday? I canceled the holiday. I canceled Harvest Fest. But it still says holiday. I can't believe this. I want you to go to school like now, right now. They won't go to school. Oh, there we go. They're going to school. Bye. Leave. Go to school. Oh, you need the link again. Awesome sauce. All good. All good. This kid is going to age up into a teenager today. Kayla's going to have two kids. And then soon enough, we'll have our last and final baby. Now, here's the thing. The last kid to be born in this household, I'm going to have to randomize all of their traits. Every single last trait has to be randomized. And that, for that, I am concerned. Gen 3 is going to have the most jacked up traits ever. I can feel it. It's a holiday. Go to work anyway. Go to work either way. <laughs> you can usually send them one by one if you need, need to. That is true. Oh, so that's how it works? Oh, I didn't know that. I just realized I was following your CC template before I found your Twitch. You know, it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> I do be reblogging a bunch on Tumblr. I've also been like pinning stuff on my Pinterest page too. It's basically the same stuff, but it's on a different platform. I forgot you could do that stuff where you could just click on the sim and have them go to school. That way I didn't know. Retail energy. <laughs> it's like, it's a holiday. You still go to work. There is school today. Holidays canceled. In here, go to school. <laughs> no holiday for you. You go to school if you like it or not. <laughs> Gina, welcome in. How are you doing? Child, if you're smelly, go take a bath. Bathe. Your mother will bathe you. Let's hope. Oh, I got money. It's not like I need it, though. I have almost 200,000 simoleons in this household. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know, hey, I'm using that budget to build the asylum. <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in, Jean. I think I want to definitely add in that stuff. Because my plan, my plan for the asylum challenge is to build a, a, a Victorian home, is what my plan is. Like a, not a, like not a large one, but like a medium sized Victorian home. Like something like of like the size of a home is what I want to build. Like that's the size I want to build of the home. Like not too small, but not too big, but like just the right amount of space for like eight Sims. But abandon is my plan. I know. At first I was going to build like a San Francisco type home. Like the uh, full house homes that we see. Oh, when my boyfriend was working at Dunkin' Donuts, he had to work on Thanksgiving. So I I brought him a plate for our lunch. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my goodness gracious. Not the lightning being terrifying and destroying my plants. Uncalled for. Uncalled for. Now, my children, Valentina Wit Bagberry, what are you doing? What are your skills? Level three in thinking and movement. So you are going to actually stack some blocks and then a Wally Berry, wake up. You have level four in communication, so you can get your tablet out and watch some toddler videos. Stop being sad. You're fine. You're not scared. You're fine. And we're going to work on that. 
Yes. Yeah, like the painted ladies. Yes. That's what I was thinking originally for it. But then I was like, no, it has to be a little bit bigger to fit eight Sims, especially the fact that they all have to be insane. Oh, oh my, the lightning destroyed my tents. Oh no, the lightning destroyed my tents. I feel uwu, uwu sad. Oh, we'll do a pop art painting. <laughs> Just peachy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spring Squad. I appreciate so, so much. Okay, so you're at school thriving, which is good. Actually, wait a minute. Both of them are learning their movement skill. That's worth it. That means on Friday, they will be going to school for the very first time at nine years old. That's good. Have you ever visited the, the Painted Ladies before? Because I have. I've seen it live and in person one time, and I thought it was really cool looking and very realistic. I believe I have a photo somewhere on my Instagram that I uh, posted about it. But it was like years, years ago. Ma'am, can you cook some food, please? Thank you. If I can find it, I'll show it. But I took that photo and I thought it was so cool. The painted ladies. San Francisco is pretty cold, but it is a very nice place to be sometimes, I would say. Let's see. That's Hollywood. Oh. Oh, wait. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. This was like a lot of years ago. Look at that. The painted ladies. A photo that I took myself with my DSLR camera. Or no, I took it with my phone and then edited it in a Visco cam. They're beautifully. They're only a few near where I live too. Not townhouses like that. Ah, uh, I think they're like so cool. And the fact that it's like it's on a hill and very slanted. Some of the garages are like, they're all similar sizes, but it's like slanted. And a little shorty, thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening. I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much for being. Yeah, this is really cool. I am one of the originals, I would say. Look at that. This is a photo from the Spurs. I mean, this is a photo that you, up close that I did not take. Their photo, my photo. Their photo, my photo. I think my photo is better. I mean, you get a, a more of a closer up look, of course, of the houses. But similar vibe. Wait a minute, what? Blue van. Blue van. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's a different car. I was like, wait a minute. Did they take this photo at the same time that I did? Or was like, do they still live there? <laughs> I was definitely concerned. Like, wait a minute, hold up. Have they been there all that time? Because I took this photo in 2017. 2017, that was a long time ago. I believe this was around the time when it was for a Sims camp. And I think Cats and Dogs was being released around that time in 2017. And a bunch of Sims were, and I were there. It was really crazy. <laughs> that would have been creepy. Like, wait, hold up. How long you been living there? I mean, I guess five years in a townhouse that small, in that location, I would have left a long time ago. But you know, that's up to them. What if they want to do? But Santa Fe at Bay, thank you for the host. And I'm glad you all like my photo. I really appreciate it. I just enjoy hanging out with you for a little while today. Yeah. All right, do you have an A in school? You have an A, age up. Age up, age up. It's your birthday today. It's spoiled. I never put the candles on the cake. Oh no. Only if this child can make their own cake. That would be a joy. A true delight. That would be really creepy. Also very interesting. 
Imagine gathering a large group of people. Crazy. Now would be wild. I feel like for me. Because I want to go to TwitchCon, but I'm like, I will only go if it's safe. You know? Because there was something that somebody posted on Twitter today about EmoCon. Let me see. Emo. Emo. It was something about Paramore. Paramore and like some other ones are headlined at somewhere and I forget what. Al Ravine. Oh, here it is. When we were young. Concert. Fest. No, it's a festival. When we were young festival. That's what it's called. Here it is. I do use custom content. I reblog a bunch of it on my Tumblr. You need to restart a family and build a new house. Watching you is, and this is inspiring. Oh, perfect. Yes. I hope you have fun doing that. I wonder when they're going to announce a new game pack. Honestly, I feel like they're going to wait until next month is what I think. That's what I think next month is what I'm thinking. But yeah, this was the thing I was talking about. The We Are Young Festival. And this is real, apparently. Like, Paramore, My Little Romance, Bring Me the Horizon, All American Rejects, Al Ravine. I know all these bands, or most of them, technically. Mayday Parade, The Ready Set, We the Kings. Like, this is so cool. It's a real thing, it's happening, but I am not going. But Paramore's going when, like, hmm, Paramore, you say. Oh, it's real. It takes place on October 22nd in Las Vegas Festival Grounds. That's where that's at, though. That's where that's at. It's... I didn't think it was real, but it's real, and I love Paramore. I grew up with those fans. Same. It's a must-have. You gotta go. But go at your own terms, I will always say. But I can't find the link is a thing. No Lincoln Park, I'm not going. Oh, here it is. Paramore even tweeted about it too. It says tickets are starting at $19.99 down. That's a lie. Some of these tickets are expensive. They're like $400. Look at these ticket prices. Look at this. General admission is like $225. I mean, they're not that bad of a price. Compared to other prices, it's not bad. Jimmy Eat the World, right? VIP. <gasps> Hotel and ticket package. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Hotel and ticket. Include one general admission. Oh, you get to choose. Oh, you get to choose which one you want if you get this package. Two to four nights. One of your partner. Oh, the partner locations, hotels. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Here's the link if you want it. The $20 down is for layaway. Oh, layaway. That makes more sense. Oh, pre-sales. Pre-sales, of course. That makes more sense. But it doesn't start until the 21st. So if you want to start up now, now do it. Um, It's a concert event that's happening in October. It's where a bunch of like, I would I would kind of technically call like emo bands that we all grew up with, or at least I did. Like My Chemical Romance. Also, wait a minute, is Evanescence on here? No, Linkin Park and Evanescence is not on here. But didn't they break, didn't Evanescence break up though? Yeah, apparently they're back together. They're doing it. Actually, let me look up their Twitter. Let's see. My Chemical Romance. Child, I will bake your cake later. My Chemical. But it, it might be with like a new people though. I don't know if it's going to be old. Let's see. On their official Twitter. I mean, they tweeted about it yesterday. Hmm. But yeah, apparently they're back and they're doing shows. They have a sold out show. Already, they're on an Australian tour at the moment, but that doesn't happen until 2023, though. Also missing all-time, wait, all-time low? Were they on it? 
I don't... No, they're not, they're not on it. Sleeping Sirens is on there. Oh my goodness. Child, age up. Where's your cake? I cannot believe this. And 21, like, it, they're missing all the good ones. And they're not going to Coachella is the thing. I wouldn't, I would never, ever go to Coachella. That sounds very horrifyingly scary. Not in the cards for me. That is wild. 21 pilots. Oh, and the bell of the concert. The link is in the chat. It's called the We Were Young Festival, where a bunch of like artists and bands that we grew up with when we were younger that we listened to a lot, like Paramore, My Chemical Romance, The Used. I've never heard of the band Dashport Conf uh, Confessional. Never heard of them. Like, I grew up on Paramore. I was an emo child. I would listen to Paramore 24-7. Oh, my lordy Lou. Uptown is jealous and a vegetarian. Uptown funk. Now, add birthday candles before anyone else does. Thank you. Sleeping with sirens uh, is where I got the siren in my name. Oh, taking you back. You got the lyric tattooed. Uh, this is my dream. The dream is finally coming alive. Corey Calvin, how long do you have left to live? Child, you've been alive for ages. Let's have you go take a nice, lovely shower. Corey Calvin, where is my child? Corey Calvin Kamala Berry, here you are. You have six days left, okay. I wanted to go to the Lady Gaga. You wanted to go when Lady Gaga performed. I do want to see Harry Styles though. I want to go to a concert, but I've never been to a concert ever in my life. I've only performed in concerts. Yeah, good Charlotte, yeah. Right? Owl City's not on there. I'm assuming because like it's like this is the first time I've ever heard of this before. Like this festival. So it might be like the first of many is what I'm thinking. You know? Uh I'm at the My Chemical Romance in May. And it was meant to be in 2020, but it got delayed of obvious reasons. Yeah. It happens during my final exams, which is uh it really is. Cause it says like their Australian show has been added. Ticket prices for May. No, this is March 13th and 14th, 2023. And then March 16th, 17th, taking a break. 19th and 20th in Australia. Oh, here it is. I found it. I didn't scroll down fast enough. Oh, wow. May 2022. They're having one on the 16th, 25th, 27th, 28th, and 30th in May. Dublin. Some of the places I've ever been to. Wow. Ah. But I haven't listened to My Chemical Rants in a long time, though. Uh, Good job leaving your tablet on the floor and they get broken. Luckily, these tablets never break. And that's funsies. Yeah, if you all want the info about all the bands that are going to be at the We Are Young Festival, the link is in the chat. Which Sum 41 and Blink-182, similar bands that are going. I don't think Blink-182 is... No, they're not going. Blink-182 is not going. But I loved Blink-182 growing up. Got some... Ooh, posters. 300 simoleons. 6,000 simoleons. Oh my goodness gracious. When we sell that, we'll have 200k. I'm telling you all, Flopsy is where the money is at. Flopsy is where the money is at. Uh, I thought they fixed it for those toddlers with the wooden glitch. I thought so too, but it's weird. Some, some toddlers glitch, some children glitch, but... I've been having glitches where they age up and they appear outside, which is so weird. But I have a glitch where toddlers will, you know, we blow out their candles for them. I will put them down, but then they will walk outside to age up, which was so weird to me. 
Like, oh, okay, ain't you outside in a thunderstorm? Do what you want. Have fun. No similar song is all and you're all good. I would oh I, I would want to go, but it's so hard to keep your distance in contact. Oh, it really is, and that's why I'm not going. Uh, I can't wait until this whole COVID thing is normalized. Same. Same. Apparently USPS is like shipping COVID tests for free to your house, which is really interesting. <laughs> I thought it was very, very interesting. So I signed up and got, I'm getting one for free from USPS. Lizzie McGuire is 21 years old. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Why is it that old? I don't understand. Lizzie McGuire was like the first one that I ever like enjoyed. And then there was Hannah Montana. I used to love Lizzie McGuire. However, Lizzie McGuire is not trending. That's interesting. Sailor Moon. Hmm. Apparently they're making a tall girl too. Interesting. Hmm. I cannot believe it's 21 years old. Well, yeah, I know. Ma'am, where are you at? Don't talk to your, your own child. Valentina, let's have you go and take a bath. Let's give you a bath, bestie. Stop playing with blocks. You're almost done with your skills anyway. Level three? I need you to do movement, please. And thank you, you're fine. Actually, yeah, you're fine. Let's sip your hygiene. It's like your bladder and your energy. USPS is weird. They be losing packages for me. At least they used to, but not anymore. I'm like, yeah, because I complained. <laughs> I complained. Uh, you get it them too, just in case we get it again. Yeah, same. I'm getting them too. Just in case. You never know. Let's have you do communications. You, Kayla, can actually just make some more food for all the kids. That way we have something in the little thingamabob for later, so they don't have to deal with them later. The random gnome. She just needs a bath. She just needs a bath. It's fine. Let's sell this gnome for 119. Personally, all of my kids are good. Personally, they're all just scared. They need a bath. Actually, you... But you know what's weird though, Bella? I always have this glitch as a thing. No matter how many times I change their diaper, no matter how many times I give them a bath, they're always smelly. It's always a glitch that I have in my game. Freddy's was supposed to do overnight my work equipment and they were days days late. Oh no, no, no. I don't, I, FedEx lost my, X, like my new Xbox and said it was, it was shipped and it was delivered. I'm like, there was no way it was delivered. I think someone, they stole my Xbox. And I complained for literal days on end. I complained on Twitter. And they gave me a new one for free. Uh, oh yeah, I don't, I'm fine. The fireplace is fine. As long as I don't have the carpet nearby, it's all good. Pause this game. I'm going to give him a new outfit. Jeez please. They are? Since when? I didn't know they were merging. I wonder why though. And apparently with um, Ubisoft Plus, they're merging with Xbox. A bunch of companies are merging with Xbox nowadays. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But I didn't know they were merging. Interesting. I wonder why though. They're going to be going by fed up. <laughs> I'd be fed up too. <laughs> I'd be fed up too. But I don't know. Oh, wow. That's not good. Yikes. I don't think so. Um. They would never merge. I literally, what? 
They're both delivery companies, but I don't think FedEx and UPS will ever merge, though, is the thing. UPS is merging with TIF International. Interesting. I didn't see anything. I don't know. Are the new Xbox systems still out in back order? Uh, I think so. I mean, I... This was like last year though. No, this, that was two years ago. Two years ago, FedEx lost my Xbox and I got a free one. But I think they're still like still on back order though. For most of them, depending on like where you're getting them from. Yeah, they're not actually merging. It would be crazy. There was no, there's no way. UPS and FedEx are like two major big companies that would never merge ever. We would keep, they would be fed up, literally, if we kept bugging them. We would bug them two days on end if they merged. Because they're both equally awful in many different directions. UPS didn't, didn't look in my mailbox to see my name. Living in an apartment, so they said I moved and sent to the New Jersey. And they said they, they used it as a learning experiment for the carrier. No. They haven't mentioned me about my, no, uh, that's crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't care if it's a learning lesson. Deliver my package where it's supposed to be delivered. <gasps> I have things I gotta do. That is crazy. In my neighborhood, police were called. Uh, were called because UPS, FedEx, and Amazon workers were getting into a fight. <laughs> I bet that was videotaped somewhere. It's probably on TikTok. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, who's, who's better? Who's more superior than the other one? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, that's hilarious. Now I want to see it. Everyone was like, UP, USPS, the referee, break it up, break it up. I want a clean, good fight. Police officer, police officer says no. <laughs> I send them emails every day. That's insane. Mail these days are wild. I'm gonna do speed three for everything, honestly. Let's just be real here. Actually, I can age you up and then I'm gonna age up the other kid later. So let's get our cake out again and age up one of our toddlers. Let's put this right here. You, age up Wally. Wally! There we go. Uh, Excuse me? Oh, help blow out candles for Wally. Yes, Wally needs to age up into a lovely child. And then Valentina is next. I don't get that. I don't get that much mail these days anymore. Did I not age you up just now? Age up the child. Yeah, I don't get mail that much anymore. It's usually like spam emails what I get. Spam mail. Like, oh, it looks like you're ready for a credit card or take out this loan. I'm like, no, I don't want to. What? Age up the child. Age up Wally, please. There we go. It just took three times and we eventually got there in the end. Bella, think of the host. Oh, what are you talking about Wally for? Wally is one of our kids. We named one of the kids Wally. That is why. Wally is our child to be. Wally Berry is now officially a kid and ready for school in four days. Uncalled for. Who's calling you? Who died? Who died? You only get a call when someone dies. Yep. Lexi Aguirre has died. Okay. Love that for us. Did not know that person, but okay. Let's put this cake back in the fridge. Now, Valentino White Bag needs to go ahead and get to level five of the communication skill so we can get a move on with our ever skills. Actually, yeah, where is your tablet? Here it is. Level five in movement. That's what it needs. Because you're at level four at the moment. So work on that for the end of time. Thank you. 
You can go to bed and you can go to bed. And we'll just keep on making a bunch of food. Omelets. Uh, the UPS lady who picks up our parcels uh, up at work where is nice wearing shorts at zero degree weather. Are they good? Is everything all right? Because I would never wear shorts in that degree of weather ever. Zero degrees Fahrenheit sounds awful. Oh, go to school. You're late. You're late for school. Where are you at? Wake up too. I'm going to try if I can send you to school too. You did? Okay, good. Oh, I can't send you to school. Sadness. You know what you can do? Keep this homework for later. And, you know, learn something. Sent me the link. Oh, no. I'm always, like, so concerned of... F I, I don't like confrontation. Confrontation is not my favorite thing. But when it happens to somebody, happens to somebody else, I'm just like, where is that? It reminds me of that one TikTok of, um, what was it? You know how like, people make those TikToks of they hear an argument happening out in front of like their yard or whatever or out the window and they pretend that they're cleaning? That would be me. No, I am not from San Francisco. I, would, I could never live there. Too expensive. Too wild. And also too cold. I'm from Illinois. That's where I'm from. My kid's school arm sent her home with rapid tests. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oof. Drink some water. Drink water, Bella. Water is good for you. I'm gonna have you go and get some water. Twitch Mobile is awful. I mistype everything. Yeah, if you have to leave the stream, I totally understand. Totally understand. If you're not feeling too well, you totally understand. Um, well, that's weird with rapid tests. Oh, like COVID test or like something uh, or a different test. That's interesting. It's only like, isn't it like noon for you? You always hit send when I'm done, when I'm not done typing. Oh, same. Same. Yeah, I am. I am from Central Illinois. Mm-hmm. Indeed, I am. Psych yourself up. I'm like closer to St. Louis is what I'm saying. Um. um ma'am? Ma'am. Wait, do you have an... You're like right there. You're right there. My sim just loves to paint all the time. But now I feel like I should get level 10 in my fitness skill. Level 10 would be the next one. Level 10. Let's have you work out on the treadmill for a little bit. Finish your painting first. Oh, I guess she's going to stop doing that and go, go jogging. Oh, that's south of west. You live close to, to Springfield. That's cool. I've lived in Illinois for like half of my life since I was like nine and a half years old. I used to live in Virginia. Oh, my kid's school is just being uh, cautious. Ah, oh, understandable. Understandable. Schools these days are definitely taking extra measure in everything. Give me 200k. Yay. Uncomfortable? Then go potty. Finish your, finish your painting. Ooh, my sim is angry. Well, at least you got to be in school, though. That's all that matters. Soon you'll have an A, and then you can leave my house. But wait a minute. Why do you have the... Why do you have this stone, the glimmer stone? I was like, you're not a spellcaster. There's no way. I'm 
not telling you where I live. Uh, no. I will never tell anyone where I live. That's just creepy. Um, never, 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 never. You like when I go live early? Same. I like going live as well. Never, never, never. Because that would just be an evasion of privacy. I only tell people I live in Illinois. And that is it. <laughs> Nothing else. Because I don't want people showing up at my house. Ever. That happened to people that I know. Like Kayla and others. BRB. Baby Peach needs a diaper change. Oh, I live in Illinois now. I used to live in Virginia. I used to live in, in Virginia for like nine and a half years. And then I moved to uh, Illinois because I'm a military kid. My parents are now, what's it called? Retired. <laughs> They're retired. Um, my dad was in the military for like 25 plus years. And then he retired when he moved here to Illinois. Did you finish your skill? No, go back inside. Go back inside, child. Leave. Go back inside. What mod is there to fix their needs? It's called the UI Cheats mod. <laughs> With a box of cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somewhere near there. Somewhere near uh, St. Louis. I just realized I attacked the wrong person. <laughs> it's fine. Kids these days need to learn about withholding personal information from strangers. Yes. Yes. That's why I am basically a closed book. I don't tell people anything half of the time. Oh, we got level five. Yay. You can age up now into a child. Um, But yeah, I used to live near St. Louis, but like not that far away. If someone follows me down the road, I don't know <laughs> that I don't know Liz Maypred, I circle back around. Same. I am paranoid as ever. I am just like, uh-uh, no. I get paranoid when people follow me more than like 10 streets. I don't like driving at all. I seriously hate driving. It's very ugh. I get very anxious. Oh yes. UI Cheese is really, really good. I mean, I also have MCC as well, but like UI Cheese is also great. You can micromanage basically everything to your liking. I can cheat my Sims, like their needs, their skills, their job performance, aspiration, their age, basically. Um, I can remove traits and add traits in, or I, well, I can remove them. I can remove... Um, I think life, no, not lifestyles, apparently. Oh. I can cheat their reputation, their celebrity status, their fame points, the NAPS program for their influence points. I can change that about. I can change the time of day, the weather, and also the season. I can delete moodlets that I don't like half of the time, which I do nine times out of my day. But it's really, really good. I do recommend it. Because I don't think MCC can do everything, which I think... Actually, no. MCC can can do everything that UI Cheats can, but you got to go through different avenues to change stuff. You know? You convinced me to download UI Cheats, and now it's one of my favorite mods. Very good. It's the best mod ever, honestly. It's one of my ultimate favorites. Ma'am, can you finish your painting, please? We got money to make and bills to pay. Bills to pay and money to make. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm stalking someone when I head to work and they hit and they're ahead of me for like four fast four blocks. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not stalking you. <laughs> me. You actually like driving, but I think it's because I live in Texas. I don't like driving because people in my area literally cannot drive. It's awful. I'm like, why are you in a rush? Calm down. Stop going so fast. Some people go 60 and a 40. I'm like, that's not how that works. 
how do you remove the naps community rules? I hate when they like to turn off when the power conversation. So you can actually turn that off like completely. Um, if you go to pack settings in your game options, you have the option to disable, actually you no, know, let me do that right now. You can disable uh, NPC voting. So NPCs don't vote on them. Cause that stuff is really annoying. I also disabled bust the dust and also the famed track as well. But I don't think you can turn it off completely. It's like, it's always there, but you can have it turned off where NPCs don't vote. Cause those things definitely influence a lot of things. Um, Self-sufficient, no. Turn it off. I believe if you also type in uh, testing the testing cheats on cheat, and then you kind of do shift click on the mailbox, you can kind of remove um, some of the naps programs. What folder do you put the UI cheats in? You put in your mods folder. Yeah, it goes into your mods folder. And you're welcome. Always happy to help. Some of the community stuff is too much. It really is. Yeah, I can post a fact of the day. I'm saying in Texas, people are, are shifting lanes without signals. It's really annoying. I also, the thing I don't, also I don't like um, about driving, you have to pay for things. Like just the other day, I had to get my car fixed to get an oil change and some other stuff. And I'm like, that's like $300 down the drain, but not on top of the fact that I went to Firestone one time. I paid over $500 for a multitude of things, yearly checkup and stuff, but it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. The romantic association we have with snow on Christmas Day dates back to Charles Dickens who grew up during the so-called Little Ice Age. Not the Little Ice Age. Really? Charles Dickens. I haven't heard that name in a long time. I was like, wasn't he like an, a writer? But yeah, he was. He died in 1870. The Wait a minute. Oh, he wrote the books, A Christmas Carol. Okay, that makes more sense. Why do I feel like he was the original Scrooge? He seemed like a Scrooge to me. Alrighty, besties. Also, uh, Kitty Bang Bang, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spring Squad. I believe we're also, oop, no, 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 don't do that. Add birthday candles first and foremost, but I can't, <gasps> I can't, I can't add birthday candles. I didn't, I did not ch uh, check my facts, but I do to make sure uh, they're coming up with reliable sort sites. That's good. Garnish. What does that mean? I guess we should make another cake. Apparently Charles Dickens has like kajillions of kids. So I'm gonna make another cake real quick and we can uh, see what we need. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Charles Dickens has 10 kids. What in the world? Are they still alive or are some of them alive? Oh, wow. Some of them be dying quickly. Some of them be doing dying quickly these days. Yikes. Welcome back, Lewis Goldman and Self Loyalty and Peach. Welcome in. We need this baby to be born like now. Actually, which trimester are we in at the moment? We are in. Oh, we're in the third trimester. I've been waiting here all day trying to give birth. I'm gonna put you in labor now. Oh, I clicked modify household. Oh my gosh, I got scared. <laughs> I got scared because he invented Scrooge. Ah, Scrooge. He was doing the 10 baby challenge. Most of them died though at a very early age though. Cause back in the 1800s, they didn't have that many uh, medical things. And most of them didn't, didn't even have kids. Well, some of them did. 
I mean, Harry Fielding Dickens did. Yeah, most of them had a bunch of kids. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Okay. So Charles Dickens' family lineage is still growing, apparently, if you go down further enough. Jeez Louise. Charles Dickens' great, great grandchild, Marone Dickens, is 70 years old. Wow. So some of them are still alive, which is interesting. Yeah, I am playing the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge at the moment. If you do exclamation mark info in the chat, it will tell you all the things you need to know about it. But essentially, it's a 10 generation long legacy challenge. That's still like a work in progress where each gen is a different challenge. And it's really, really fun. I recommend it if you are looking into trying out different challenges that you particularly haven't done before. Better put candles in the cake before someone eats it. Honestly, true. This cake, I can't put any candles on apparently, which I'm so concerned about. And I don't know why. Sounds about right. Bake a cake and go and labor it. And she peed herself. Ma'am, you have a cake in the oven. Resume the cake and then give birth. Okay, thank you. I'm also going to cheat her hy hygiene. There we go. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps you self-loyalty. To give you all the info you need to know about this challenge. Let's add birthday candles real quickies. The cake on the counter first and foremost. And then we're going to give birth to two kids. But let me go ahead and put in the raffle real quickies. So you all can enter in. So if you are new to this challenge and you don't know how it works. Basically what we do every time that a baby is born. I hold a raffle in the chat. And if you win that raffle, you get to name the lovely baby. So we're having two. So there'll be two winners today. So type in the word baby in the chat to enter into the raffle. And we will be on letter W, V, wait, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So Y and Z. W, X, W, X, Y. So we need X and Y. X and Y is who we need uh, next for these two kids. And then we'll have the last kid uh, today as well. Uh, going out for errands. Have a nice stream. Well, behind, thank you for being here. I appreciate the company as always. I will see you next time. Have fun doing your errands. But yes, only enter once. Better not be rigged. It better not be. It better not be. <laughs> imagine. Imagine if it was rigged. We'll give birth after we finish our painting. I can't believe we're going to be done with this challenge today. Last and final time of having kids in this game. Have baby. Have baby now. Alrighty, besties. All right, it's a baby boy. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the winner. Closing it. Picking the winner. D no. There's no way. No, 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 no. I think somebody else should deserve a chance, Dab. I think somebody else deserves a chance, don't you think? Hmm? Don't you think? It's rigged rigged can we get some rigs in the chat because if a mod wins a raffle it's rigged should i re-roll hmm it's rigged that's rigged dab <laughs> should i re-roll Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> dab, Engie. Engie. <laughs> Don't worry, Dab. You'll have more chances. You will have more chances in the future. We roll. 
KH squared. Hi, how are you? You won. You won. <laughs> Damn, don't worry, you'll have more chances. Bye, you. See you later. See you next time. <laughs> Uh, but KH squared, you get one. So we need to have um, an X name. We already have W, so we need we need X. Dab, put the pitchfork away. Put the tears away. Yeah, we're on letter number. Pff, letter number. We're on letter X. X. Uh, put the pitchfork away. Yeah, so we'll be on X and Y. Ooh, Xavier. Awesome. Okay. So the next winner will be... Who? Becca Oak. Becca Oak, you won the next raffle. So we need a Y. We need a Y name for this one. Dab. You still have one last chance to win. Don't worry. But congratulations, Becca. Yasmin. Ooh, that's a nice name. Yasmin Berry. I like that. See, that's the spirit, Dab. Don't you feel a bit better? I can't pick. You can't pick the name. It has to be Becca. I like to give you a hard time. You really do. You really do. And the last baby will be born will be letter Z. So whatever Z names you can come up with, think of them now. Are they both aliens? Oh my gosh. I didn't win, therefore it's rigged. Oh my goodness. Are these both alien babies? <sighs> if I can hear them scream, they're both aliens, I think. But you do it out of love. Why the knife? Uh, sure enough. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. You never seen alien babies? They're kind of creepy. But a part of me feels like they're human babies. Because don't... Because don't alien babies wear the outfit for aliens? Because if they're not aliens, they just have purple skin. <laughs> What's the boy's name? So we got two boys. Um, we got Yasmin, and then we also have. I want to say Xavier. Yeah, Xavier. Wait, who's the daddy? Not us being sick after giving birth. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. Um, the father was Irving. Irving was the father who was an alien. I'm supposed to be picking up the house, but here I am. What about the baby's eyes? They look human. Well, these baby's eyes look human to me. Oh my goodness, that baby's crying. I don't know. That is weird. I've had green babies, purple eight babies, and I think I had like a red baby one time. This is how Barney was made. <laughs> Kids, this is how Barney was made. Yeah. This is how Barney was made in The Sims. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, hold up. I think they're just regular babies. Yeah, these are just regular babies because alien babies will be wearing the outfit. What a compliment. They look human, but are they Barney? And you're welcome, Cage Squared. I've never gotten to name a streamer's baby before. Well, you've got to, you have every chance to win a raffle. Alrighty, so we need to go and change this number to 23 to 25. So one more baby, and that is it. Uh, they look human to me. You know, isn't every 
human having purple skin? <laughs> Hey, look, human, what a compliment. Where are you going? You want to play basketball outside in the thunderstorm? That does not seem right. Okay. Well, we have room for more one more kid, so which I'm gonna go get pregnant again. <laughs> She's leaving. Like, I'm getting out of here. This place is crazy. I've got to go. I've got to go. They don't look like human hers. Like, I've gotta go. Running. You got to name two of Play With Maze 314 kids and a lot of Pokemon. Very good. Very good. Honestly, I think she's doing the 100 Black Widow challenge, I'm believing. Because she started a new challenge, uh, I believe, uh, I think last week. And she's starting the Black Widow, which I think is very, very cool. She can't handle this. Not after all the chaos and destruction that happened in the household. She was like, I'm out of here. I've got to go. I need to leave. Wait a minute. Hold up. What? There are some kids up in here. Singletons. They moved all the way over here. Are you serious? But you're not home. You're an elder, though, so you'll die quickly. She says, bye. See you never. <laughs> uh, which might turn into babies as well. I feel like you just can't escape baby challenges. Once you do it for so long, you just can't escape them. You gotta keep going. Have 600 kids in The Sims 4 and see what happens. I've had 300 kids in The Sims 4 one time. Would I do it again? Maybe. I have a package? Ooh. Oh, he is home, yay. You know what? He looks all right. He looks all right. What is your what is your name? Jonas Singleton. He's one of the bonus Jonas Jonas brothers, but older and forgotten. Bonus Jonas besties is who he was. He was forgotten. The forgotten Jonas. And he's about cakes. Oh, there's an ad plane. Oopsies. Oopsie poopsie. Sorry. Oh, also, this will be a great time, everyone, to drink some water if you need to. Drinking your water will keep you rejuvenated and healthy. Literally after stream, what I'm going to do is eat breakfast. He looks like death. And that's what we need. Death. Why do people email me the most craziest things ever? Um, I feel like having a bunch of babies in the, in a house, so it would trigger my ADHD so much. Oh, same. I have ADHD and it's awful. There's too many kids. He dies today. Oh no. Oh no. He dies today. We saved him. His lineage will continue. And what's funnier though, has no kids, no spouse, no parents. He was an auto generated NPC sim. And he's dying today. Well then, okay. Don't drop dead though, right now. <laughs> Oops. You know, his last dying wish is to have kids. He's unflirty. Well, not today. <laughs> Small world, right? It's like my brain goes 50 miles like per second. I go on like 50 different topics at once. And it's ridiculous. I don't know how all of you keep up with me half of the time in, in streams when, when I'm talking about like four different things at once. It's just like everywhere. He didn't get a chance to meet the purple babies. No. We have a sentiment with him though, which is nice. I think we can woohoo in the dumpster, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm up with body heat. He didn't want the first one. Rip. Unflirty, but yet flirty. I keep up because I have ADHD too. This is how we communicate. Exactly. This is how we communicate. Four different topics at once. I'm chanting, baby, baby, baby. 
I'm just like, baby, 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 oh, like, baby, 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 no. I thought you'd always be mine, mine. <laughs> Will I get copyrighted today for singing that? Let's hope not. <laughs> there was one time I uploaded a YouTube video, like one of my VODs so long ago, and I was trying to sing, and I got copyrighted for singing a lyric of a song. And I'm like, is that a compliment or is that an insult? Because I'm like, I got copyrighted because they recognized the song. But then insulted because I got copyrighted. And <laughs> it's so bad it really is. I'm like, what did I do? First kiss, first kiss. Oh wait, do it again. I want to take a picture. First kiss again. Do it. Do it. Hey, where are you going? Stop. Don't die. Please don't die right now. Please don't die. Come back here. I need a photo. No, come back here. I need a photo. I'm using this for the thumbnail when I upload this VOD. <laughs> when I upload this VOD, I'm making this a thumbnail. It's happening. The last baby for the last smooch. Yeah, I'm streaming into the, the last and final baby. Yes. So we're going to go for a little bit longer today. 20, to 20 different topics. Totally neurotypical. Yeah. <laughs> As we today, I think it's the coffee. Coffee can get to you. The last baby was him, and he dies today too. You think it's so well? They felt the written and copyright you. I'll stick with that then. <laughs> they can get you for even saying lyrics. That is true. It's daunting. Welcome back, Ann Bishop. We're having our last and final baby with an elder who dies today. Enough time to get food? Yes, yes. We're gonna knock on his door so we can woohoo. It's actually a very nice house for what it is. Try for baby was Jonas. Bonus Jonas. His last day and his last baby, literally. <laughs> Welcome back, Savvy. Uh, what if the pregnancy isn't guaranteed? Rip. I would cry. But, you know, the thing is, with elders, they have a slight chance of dying from overexhaustion from Woohoo. What if he just died right now? I don't think he has money. Oh my gosh, please don't die. Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Don't die. I'm pregnant. Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Hi, Jamie and Jose. Welcome in. How you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Hi, hi. I should have been, I should have enabled the option to get child support, but I always forget. I'm pregnant. You can die now. <laughs> like, I'm pregnant, so you can die now. Bye-bye. See you in the afterlife. I'll be there in like 47 years. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> I think I'm pregnant. Anyone else? Anyone else? <laughs> uh, he can die alone now. He can die in peace. That that he knows his family legacy will continue on for years to come. At least the baby won't grow into toddlers. Sad because he'll be gone before they're born. Exactly. <laughs> Look who died. He died. We left and he died. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we we're laughing and saying his name is, uh, we were, we pronounced her nickname like Jose. Really? <laughs> he died. I didn't even see it. I'm like, wait a minute. He died. He barely got his pants back on and he died. I mean, we're sad from losing a friend who died. <laughs> At least we're pregnant, though. That's all that matters, right? I mean, we're pregnant with twins, so that's something, right? Pregnant with twins. So, yeah. I hear the adoption center calling. It's like, ring, 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 ring. Oh, <laughs> uh, what did I just miss? We just woohooed with an elder who was dying the day of. 
And we came home and, and, and then we got a call that he died. We basically killed the father of our soon to be born children. He was waiting. I think I would have. I killed him to death. He was hanging on for his last moment. Oh my gosh, I'm ready for all these kids to leave my house. So many kids, but little time. He was hanging by a thread. But today is Saturday, which I hate because none of these kids go to school is the thing. Your skills are fine to get an A. You have a C, but you have level three in social, but I'm going to have you read vampire lore. So here's a pro tip. If you have the vampire game pack and you're doing a baby challenge, I do recommend having your kids read the vampire lore books because those skills go up faster than any other skill in the Sims 4. That's just like, it's a good skill to have, you know, you never know when you'll be a vampire in the game. I would love to remodel your house. That will be fun if you want to, you can, if you would like to. <laughs> well, he's gone now. At least he passed in peace and pleasure. I can't. Uh, I probably will upload this house to the gallery once we're done with this challenge. I don't know if I uploaded the one from the previous generation though. I think, actually no, I did. I uploaded the house from the previous generation I'll upload this one to the gallery once we're done. And then we'll start building the asylum house on Friday. So we can continue this legacy. So keep your eyes peeled. If you want this house, it'll be uploaded um, on probably Thursday or Friday. What's the best path to get? Seasons. Seasons. If not parenthood. <laughs> We're just going to burn some money. But yeah, I recommend Seasons is really good to have. And then if not Parenthood or Tiny Living. He hit the deck before he <laughs> before she kicked to the front door. It's like, I'm just going to kick the bucket right now. Kimberly Berry, what are you calling me for? I don't have money to spare. I'm sorry. No money to spare. Kids are calling up the mother for money. It's like, I'm sorry, but I don't have money like that. I'm gonna buy one book. Yes. Hey, hello, Exo Brianna. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. And yeah, Parenthood is really, really good. I think the woohoo killed him. Yeah. It happens when they're over exhausted. They can't handle the the, the screams. Oh, is the vampire lore skill new? It's been around since the vampire game pack. And I believe that pack came out in 2018, I think. <laughs> After you burnt the money, she called. She knew something. She did. I guess I'll binge on a bunch of packs. Honestly, spend on what spend your money on what you want. Cause I don't know if this they're on sale right now or not. I don't think they are, but they are some good packs. I have all the packs, by the way, too. Everything is breaking in this house. I cannot believe this. Are eggs supposed to smell like this? Who are? I don't know. He's an elder, too. We had a kid with Matt. She's a child, not a toddler. The toddler is hiding under her skirt. <laughs> I can't believe this. There's a new mayor in town because the old one died. Who are you? Judith? Oh, you're pregnant. Oh, that's nice. How many kids? You're a mail carrier, but you're pregnant with twins. Nice. Cottage living is so much fun. That's another good pack. I recommend because cottage living has some good stuff. New world. New builds. I think there's also... No, yeah, new world, new builds. Build and buy is great. I love create a sim. I love anything cottagecore. My least favorite pack? Luxury party pack. Luxury party pack and vintage glamour are my two least favorites. Out of like, pack-wise. 
for an expansion pack, I would probably go with... Mm, may, mm, maybe get to work, I would say, because like, I mean, I do play with it with the Not So Berry Challenge, but I don't play it enough. Even though that Get to Work has interactive careers and the retail system, it's a little bit meh to me because it's like it's very repetitive. But it is fun with, with a challenge based way. But if not Get to Work, then it'll probably be. So let me check because I have no idea. Oh, did not mean to do that actually. Let's see, packs. Oh, I know what it is. Um. Island Living, that's the one. Not not Get to Work, Island Living. That was the other one. Island Living is like the one I least play with out of all of them. Dino is a game pack I don't play as much at all. Um, and then Stuff Pack, Luxury Party Pack, and Vintage Glamour. However, the thing is with Luxury Party Pack, it's the first Stuff Pack we ever got in The Sims 4. But so if they did a refresh with it, I feel like it could be better, you know? And yeah, bundling is so good. Yeah, bundling them together, worth it. Really? You don't like cottage core? Cottage core, the lifestyle that we all need to live. I like cottage core and suburban. If they made mermaids better, I would play with it more. And I would live in Sulani more. But I do have to say, Snowy Escape definitely had. A really good thing happened for it because when they made Snowy Escape, they added in the option where you can vacation in any world in The Sims 4, which I love. But as long as you have a rental lot in those worlds, you can vacation there. You send your Sims there all the time, honeymoon, vacay, family picnics. I just tend to forget to. And it's a very pretty world. My background on my desktop is Sulani. The world is very stunning. Yes. I stopped playing with Cottage Living because I had a nightmare about animals. Oh, yeah. The animals do die in Cottage Living. Yeah. I had a nightmare about the animals in the game when the pack came out and I got. Yeah. It's scary because animals can die in this game. The chickens, the llamas, and the cows can die. But you can actually turn off animal aging if you want it to, which I think is really Great, because Lordy Lou, we don't need that. Uh, Miss uh, Wally, welcome in. How are you doing today? And I'm glad I can keep you company while you're working from home today. We are playing the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. We're on Gen 2 at the moment, which is the A to Z Baby Challenge. And we're basically kind of done with this one as we are pregnant with our last and final baby. If you go over here, so we can tend to this kid over here. Feed the baby, love the baby. There we go. My whole aesthetic is cottagecore, same. I love cottagecore as a burning passion. Like it's one of my ultimate favorite styles of all time. No, you have a bed over here. I'm gonna actually have sign this bed to Valentina, then you can sleep in here. I should really assign beds to all of my kids. That way they know where to sleep and not sleep in my bed. Oh, Kayla can't sleep here. Actually, we can have Wally sleep here instead. Yeah, pretty, pretty good today. I'm having my kid work on their skills to pay the bills. Make this your favorite. Put this in here. Love the stream as always. Oh. Have a good day, Stephen Purple Heart and everyone Purple Heart. Oh, thank you so much, Hut Plays, for the bits and the kind message. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you being here as well. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. See you next time for another stream. Because tomorrow, besties, we are playing Sims 4. But I'm going to be renovating some builds, actually, which I'm very excited about. Your builds. I have like three builds I have to renovate, so the redemption part is off. 
by the way. It was nice meeting you too, yeah. But I'm not ending anytime soon. We're still gonna go for a little bit longer today. Maybe like four hours, most likely. Clean the toilet, please. Clean the toilet. My plan is to have this last and final baby. But we are in our... What trimester are we in? We're going to be in our second trimester in 12 hours. So I'm going to speed three everything. That way, we're never losing track of time. It only goes down when they're going to school. Sleep. Yeah, speed three everything. Extreme mode. Has anyone ever played The Sims 4? It's just a Sims game in general on speed three and like see what would happen. I've never done it, but now I kind of low key want to. Just leave my game unpaused on speed three for 24 hours. It would be wild. They would die very quickly. So I saw Jesse do a video in the Sims three and four at the exact same time. And that was the most chaotic video I've ever watched in my entire life, but I loved it. Cause I loved how chaotic it was. We got the need for speed. Exactly. I have that game, by the way. And it's a really good game. Need for speed. I'm gonna age you both up since you can probably do some good things. Independent. Oh, love that for you. I love independent kids. They bring me joy. You have to check it out, uh, check up on it at times. Yeah, that's true. If you have pop-ups, it should go away, but I think it doesn't. Just to kind of click yes or no. These kids, I swear. They're both twins. And they're both purple. There's a way not to have pop-ups. Oh, really? How, how do you do it? Because I would literally do that challenge right now. So I don't have pop-ups. Someone has done the challenge set there was. Hmm. You need to figure out which one. Okay. When you find it, let us know. But also, Sunny Simsy, how are you? Stop being sad. You're fine. Just because your last baby daddy died right when you came home, you don't need to be sad about it. Oh my goodness. I forgot when I, a kid ages up every time. We get all these toys in the mail. Ridiculous. Sell everything. Not Jonas calling me from the grave and asking me out on a date. <laughs> I can't believe this. He dies and calls me up asking for a date. Should I say yes or no? <laughs> and you doing fine? How are you? I'm doing really good today. I would hoop with an elder and then I came home and then he died the same day. And now he's calling me for a date. So should do some Googling to see yes. And now I'm like thinking, should I go on that date or should I not go on that date? He wants some more, I'm gonna go. He saw you were like an O. Silver Fox. Let's see. Um. Oh my gosh, I missed a lot. I wanna see what this is. I have seen the new Spider-Man. It's so good, but not in theaters, if you know what I mean. I found my other sources. <clears throat> If I can find the link. He wants some more loving. Watch him leave. Is he going to buy me things? Is that what he's saying? I'm going to share the big news. I'm going to tell him. Casper dad needs a friend. He see. Are you happy? He looks upset. I think that's like just by default. Oh, he looked sad before. But yeah, the new Spider movie is really, really good. No spoilers if you haven't seen it. Um, because that would just be very sad. But it is really good, trust me. 
I think they got like level, not level three, but like number four in the box office, I believe. And I was like, wow. Because yesterday I was watching Sing 2 and it's so good. I love Sing. <laughs> oh. Offer a massage? Yeah, offer a massage. You want to buy me things? Complain about fruitcake? Oh, I gave him a massage. You know what I really want in The Sims? I want to have a ghost baby. Because we had those in The Sims 3. Why can't I not have a baby with a ghost? <laughs> Give repair tips. Sing 2 is really, really good. I kind of forgot that Scarlett Johansson used to be a singer before she was Black Widow. I was like, wow, she's actually really good. I mean, she hasn't made music in a very long time, but still great overall. Still good. Still good. Not Irving calling me. The other one. Sure, spend time together. Have fun. I want a ghost baby. I want to know if the ghost baby will ever age up, you know? And, you know, part of me wants to have a ghost baby in The Sims 3 now that I said it. Because, personally, I think that could really, really work. Give me this outfit. Let's buy it. Let's buy it. Ooh, wow. I kind of forgot that you can do the stuff in the game. I never go retail shopping in The Sims. She has abs for days. My matriarch has abs. I never, ever have them go shopping. Jean, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine evening. We are on the last and final baby for our mix match legacy challenge, and I'm so excited. Some people are just calling me today. Where did he go? Wait, don't tell me he left. I can't believe this. He left. This dead guy left. Rude. Well, I'm leaving too. And you're doing fine. How about you? I'm doing really good today. We're finally finishing this challenge. I'm so excited. So I've been like a very like chill and just like mosing on about my day and trying to figure out what I want to do for the rest of my day today, actually. I might record a video later today and um, edit that and uh, probably watch maybe a show on Netflix I've been like neglecting. But yeah, you can go shopping in The Sims 4, but you need to have Get to Work, which is the first expansion pack that we had got in The Sims 4. The nerve he left. He told me not to go. I didn't want to believe you. I, I was like, maybe he'll he'll give me a chance. Maybe he'll stay. And I was like, goodbye. He was like, deuces. I'm leaving. Never returning. You miss shopping and grocery shopping in The Sims 2. From The Sims 2, same. If we had the option to go grocery shopping in The Sims 4, I would like it to be like The Sims 2 grocery shopping feature. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up this toilet. Okay, everyone should be good. At least it's only 3 p.m. in the game. That way, tomorrow, Monday, these kids can start aging up and doing things. And then we'll have our last and final baby. Baby. Brittany, baby, Barry. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh, second trimester in 22 hours. So on Monday, we'll have our last and final baby. And then we can like kind of end it off there. Look how beautiful a uh, tree behind you. Thank you. I honestly feel like keeping my Christmas tree up is giving me good vibes after all these days. Wait, what did he just say? Whoa, 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 whoa. This date just keeps getting better. We got a sentiment. It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. Well, I don't want to talk to you. He's a snob. And we got another sentiment. You had a, such a great time. Let's do it again. Oh. Hmm. 
But yeah, yesterday on stream, we were playing Animal Crossing and we found Marshall. And I thought it was so cool that we did. The tree, the sim stream gave us good vibes and it was a time that we needed. Oh, by the way, besties, if you did not know and you did not hear about this yesterday, there was a progress, uh, progress status update uh, of The Sims 4 on where they're at with pronouns. We're getting officially pronouns in The Sims 4, but we just don't know when. But they made a live stream yesterday talking about it and what they've done so far. And it look, it's looking very, very promising. Very promising. But yeah, if you want to watch the clip of me finding Marshall, the clip is in the chat. We're also getting a new scenario called um, Power Couple. And another one about, no, one scenario for a power couple. And then a new Sims delivery on February 2nd. I saw you in the live stream, yeah. I thought that live stream was really fun. Like learning about all the different pronouns in different languages and like what they were talking about and what they've done so far was really, really good. I honestly really loved that stream. I didn't really watch the chat because chat was all over the place, but um, it was still a good stream to watch though. Who died? Who, di who died? Oh, did one of my kids die? I think so. Orange died? When? When did Orange Bailey Moon die? Corey, Calvin, Kamala, Barry, did you die? Are you still alive? Wait a minute, where is my child? Corey Calvin? Oh no, he's right here. I was like, I didn't see him. He has three days left. My eldest child, who's an elder, is going to be dying in three days. It's kind of funny that we're an adult and my child's an elder. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Everyone has a tablet, doing good for themselves. As long as I can get all these kids' skills up higher enough, we should be fine. <laughs> Not you being in the bunk bed, sleeping the night away. I'm gonna have you go and work out for a little bit. Who are you? Daff Daff Barry out here in my front porch step. Oh, it's Daff Daff. And they walked away. Okay, but bye bye. Correct me, OP, honestly, you just aged like fine wine and he ages like milk. Spoiled. I like how you don't age when you're pregnant. Yeah, if you didn't know that, you don't, when you're pregnant in The Sims 4, you never age. That's good. IRL, you do though. Oh, we're running out of food. Okay, I gotta make some more food for all the kids. I'll spend my days making food. Let's have, no, let's go and serve dinner of chili. Rip, not my own child dying on me. And he's going to be the first kid to die too, which is even worse. Because in the family tree, he's technically the third kid to be born. The other two were moved out earlier in the life stage. Irving? You're married? Oh, wow. Irving. You know what? A part of me feels like Irving's not even, not even an alien, but he's an alien. Somewhere between these two, they were aliens, but they're not fessing up. He has three kids. <laughs> Agent like fine wine. Okay. So what are your thoughts on the last kit? So we already know what game pack we're getting. They haven't announced it, but we already know. We don't know. We already know what the kit, what kit we're getting, but we just don't know the last and final kit that we're getting. What are your thoughts? What are your theories? You're angry? Well, go to bed. Sleep. Like all the rest of the kids are doing. They're sleeping like you're supposed to sleep the night away. What's the game pack? So on their website, it basically says, say I do. And when you think of I do, you think of weddings. And so in my eyes, 
we're getting a wedding pack. They haven't really confirmed it themselves saying, you're getting a wedding pack. We just assume that it is because of everything they have said on their website. Addison Bunch died. Oh no, not my kid dying. My first kid died, I think. Oh no, that was our half sister who died just now. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Yeah, we're getting two new kits and a game pack. Two kits and a game pack in the next three months. So we might be getting a pack this month and another one in February and one in March. They probably put out their roadmap for the next three months, um, January through, f through March. But we just don't know when we're getting them, technically. Uh, do you know how to age a toddler to adult fast? Yes, through MC Command Center. By cheating their age. I do it quite frequently. Just not in this challenge, though. But I do. I just go to MCC, MC Commands, set age to adult. That's how I do it. But without cheating, without mods, I have no idea. I wish I knew. Child, stop being sad. You're fine. Go sleep on the couch. Does it mean The Sims 4 is coming to an end? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Sims 4 is not coming to an end. We have a lot more years of The Sims 4. The Sims 4 is never ending. Um, they just kind of like usually put out like a roadmap of what they're going to be giving us um, three months in advance. And they'll do like the next month and the next month, the next three months after that and so on and so forth. Just so they can kind of uh, give us an idea. But yeah, The Sims 4 is not ending anytime soon. We have years to go. Years. Do you know how to add mods? Yes. There should, if you go to your documents folder in your, on your computer, there should be a folder in your Sims 4 folder called mods. There should be a folder called mods in your Sims 4 folder. You just download a mod that you particularly like, like UI Cheats or MC Command Center. And those should be like zip files that you have to unzip into your mods folder in order for them to work. But since you just put them into your mods folder, if someone puts out a Sims 5 and it's not EA, he will be suing. Exactly. Exactly. EA will be suing most definitely. I think they already have it patented where they have the legal right to use that name. If it's like, if it says Sims 5, they have to sue because no one can have like the word Sim link or like The Sims in their title. The Sims community updated today that the new scenario is coming up called Power Couple. There's a picture of Bella Gotham Mortimer. Yes, there is. Yeah, that's how you usually download mods. It's like you go into like a website like Tumblr or, you know, mostly just Tumblr or the Sims resource or, any, or anything like that that allows you to um, download mods. And usually when you download mods, you just open up your documents folder, Sims 4, should be a folder called mods, drag and drop, and then it'll work. These kids are being too sad. They need to stop being sad. Sadness is not tolerated. Go to school. Oh, your Sim and Bella Goth are dating. Ooh, that's exciting. I convinced Bella Goth to expand her family and she did. It's not in this save file. It was another one I had made a while ago. Why is the Sims 4 being out for six to seven years, but then the rest have been out for the four and five? New stuff being added to the game. Because I think with the Sims 4 nowadays, it's like it's a new era, a new franchise. And I think also they're trying to do things that they haven't done before. You know what I mean? Because, like, with The Sims 2 and Sims 3, we kind of got, like, similar packs in a way. And I guess just, like, the higher-ups just want more, personally. That's what I think. I don't know. But I do remember that they, they were saying, like, a, a few years ago that there was going to be more 
years of the sims 4 and they're going to be trying out different packs that they haven't done before in the past and we have gotten packs this in this genre of the sims that we haven't had in the past and it has made it for like interesting gameplay in my eyes it has but i think that's why and they just want to try something new and different plus what's so different about this one than before is that they never collaborated with like custom content creators to bring their content into the sims 4 officially or like content that they make for the sims into the game officially they also never had anybody build official ea houses for packs and also some other things that i can't think of at the top of my head i don't know but yeah it's it's been like one of those things they've never they've never really collaborated outside of their company for like houses or outfits or like makeup or hairs or anything like that plus they also never like refresh any of the packs too but that's just my explanation of why i think the sims 4 is going on for so long than the others it might be a whole different thing but that's what i think just for like from a sims player point of view you're hungry but you don't want to get up i'm hungry too but i also don't want to get up they're doing great with expanding the sims 4 and testing out what they can what can be done exactly and that's what i like and i feel like it's like never be too shy to experiment on on things who are you loren leroy liam barry oh my gosh this child all these kids are fine stop being sick you're fine grow up <laughs> literally grow up <laughs> Grow up right now. Where are my kids? You're outside. Let's have you work on your Wabba tablet. And you can also work on your Wabba tablet too. Should I do a legacy challenge on a short lifespan like Kayla's Nightmare Legacy? I say go for it. Because anything can happen. Anything can happen in that legacy. If you do it short, uh, short lifespan. I think it also kind of makes it for fun gameplay. You know? Let's see, let's go on. Also, the game runs better, too. That's another thing, too. The game runs way better than it did before. Sims 3 ran like hot garbage on a Sunday afternoon. Awful. Ran bad. But nowadays, the game runs better on my computer than it did before. Optimization is way better, and the graphics are way better, and your Sims don't look like potatoes. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I mean, I play all the other Sims games too. Like, I play The Sims 2 and 3 on stream all the time. Not The Sims 1 as much, because that game's hectic. Um, It's definitely an improvement, and it's nice to know that they're willing to work with and get in touch with and know their community on a closer level. And that's what I love. When you collaborate with the community, you get more feedback that way. Oh, I 100% agree with you. Definitely refresh on uh, Luxury Party. And you gotta go. Well, thank you for being here, and Bishop. I appreciate the company as always. I will hopefully see you next time. Ooh, we got a B, got a B, got an A. Oh my gosh, this kid can age up and get out of my house. You, make yourself a cake and then get out. I felt, I sound like a bad parent. <laughs> I'm flashing back to The Sims 1. Oh my goodness. I played it on stream last week. We were trying to become famous and it was a struggle bus and a half, but it was worth it. Kaylin strategy to create more drama in your saves and so much fun. See, adding drama into your Sims game is always fun. Also, some of the packs are very different than older packs. True. Ego lifestyle is definitely something we've never seen before and had before. That's true. Yes. Yes. Friendly reminder, besties, the rules. <laughs> Jordan and Wolf, good morning. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. <laughs> quote, you, make yourself a cake and get out. That's a good quote. That's a good one. I say go for it. <laughs> and uh, you're just popping in while I have my morning coffee. 
How's been everyone? I've been doing pretty great today. We've been kind of speed running this challenge to kind of get these kids out the way and out of my house. Um, we also woohooed an elder to death um, not too long ago. And we have decided that after the Not So Berry Challenge, we're going to be doing the Career Legacy Challenge. It's like, hey, you, make a cake and get out. Time for you to go. <laughs> Blow out your candles. Don't be shy. Everyone does it. It's the rite of passage. It's the rite of passage. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. And thank you for the pasta check, by the way. Uh, Slay Minecraft Gaming. I haven't played Minecraft in a hot minute, actually. That game's scary. Especially in the in the mines. Horrifying. And he ages up outside. Love that for me. Glutton. At birthday candles. I do have a YouTube channel. If you do exclamation mark socials in the chat, you can see all my social media. Including my YouTube, I do upload a lot of sim videos. That's kind of like my main game on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be working on some new videos soon this week to post later next week. So I can get kind of get back into things. Because I've been kind of slacking on the YouTube upload schedule lately, which is never good for me. But yeah, I do. I do indeed. You're such a great parent. Thank you, Lucky. I really do try. I really do try to manage my kids well. To the best of my ability. Okay, besties. Who is ready? Make a cake, but you can't eat it. Just blow out the candles. Exactly. <laughs> what's the title of the... What's the title from the kitchen from? The kitchen? Uh, Parenthood. Oh, no, it's fine. There's never is no such thing as an annoying question. It's a challenge that I created myself where each generation is a different challenge. Thomas Watson's spirit is fading away. Wah, wah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a challenge that I created myself where each gen is a different challenge. Right now we're on the A to Z baby challenge. Now, here's the thing. I don't take any credit of any challenge that I'm doing as my own because they're not my own challenge. I just kind of put them all into like one Google document and gave a backstory and aspirations and rules that I wanted to do for myself in particularly and uh, kind of made it into a challenge. So it's really fun. And Golden, thank you for the host. How you doing today? Also... Let me see something. I can't remember what it was. I don't even remember. What the heck? Hmm. Okay. Let's go all the way down. Um, and behind, welcome back. How's the stream? So far, so good. We're having the last and final baby today. So, or last and final babies. So the stream is going really, really great. My Sims 4 origin ID, Spring Sims, just like my Twitch name. All one word. It's where I upload all of my Sims that I make and all my builds that I make. And my builds, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of builds. So many. What do you mean? There's a crib right here, huh, baby? Uh, it is such a fun idea. I honestly have been doing this challenge for a while now, and it's been really exciting. Alrighty, besties, get ready. Today is the last and final day. We will be having this last baby for the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge for Gen 2. Before we move on to Gen 3. So type in the word baby in the chat to enter into the raffle to help me name this last baby. And that will be letter Z. And technically what we have two babies being born. So I can guess I can call the other kid exclamation mark. I don't know. Uh, I have not, uh, I don't, I have not as many because I would del we deleted it and had to go back because it wouldn't start. Oh, huh. That's weird. 
The gallery, I know, is so glitchy sometimes when people tend to download things, or at least I try to download things half of the time. It do be glitchy. Ow. So the last and final baby. Last and final baby. Eh, eh. Alrighty. Closing the raffle. No, we'll go back to letter A. Is that how it works? I'm so glad this baby came before my theory moment. Right? Okay, closing and picking the winner. RPG! RPG, congratulations! Congratulations, RPG! <laughs> That's not how it works. We do the exclamation mark. RPG, congratulations, you won the last and final, well, almost the last and final baby to be born in this lovely legacy. All boys here. Actually, the last one I think is gonna be a girl, I'm pretty sure. You can name it the end, but that's not a Z. I had two names already. Don't worry, there's another one. Another one being born. That's not how I do it. I never go back to letter A. I always go back to uh, X mission mark. But I mean, if you're doing traditional, you go back to A. But for me, I always include the rest of like the alphabet with like the other little things. Oh, like Zay, like J, Zay Barry. Boom. Okay, besties. You know what? Since they're twins, we're gonna go with two Z names instead. We'll go with two Z names instead. Taking the last winner. Last winner of the day. S Dragon. Congratulations, Zoolander Barry. I cannot believe this, Zoolander. You gotta go. Well, uh, well, thank you so much, Yoda, for being here. I appreciate the company as always. Follow Z if that helps. Yes. But congratulations, S Dragon A, if you're still here in the chat. You get to name this last and final baby. We need a Z name. It's a girl. I get a name. Because this is the kid that we have to randomize all the traits each time they age up, which is going to be daunting. <laughs> Zoolander Barry. I can't believe it. Zoolander sounds funny, though. Think of the times. Going in class saying, Zoolander, raise your hand if you're here. <laughs> I don't know if they're still here. I don't think they're here. I'm going to... Oh, there we go. Zoe. Ooh. There they are. Zoe Barry. Boom. Twins and they're both human. Sadly, they don't get to see their father because he died. Sadly enough. Sad, sad times. So sad the father died. Oh well. There we go. Thank you, S Dragon. You just named the last and final baby. For this challenge, how does it feel? Your opponential names were Zarya or Zebulin. You know, the name Zarya sounds like that one movie I saw on so long ago. I think it was like something something Zarya. It had Kirsten Stewart in it. Uh, I didn't know that info about the dad. Yeah, the dad died. He was an elder. And when I checked MC Command Center, he had zero days left to live. And we woohooed we woo with him. And then he died as soon as we got back home. Like we got a call on a front doorstep saying, Joe's, Jonas is dead. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and then he also called me again when he was dead for a date and then he left. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that's a really good story. I like that. Having the father die does add to the story of why the last of you ends up in the assembly. That's a really good. I like that. I like that. That makes perfect sense. Oh, I like that. That's a really good one. Yes. Oh, see, look at you being a storyteller. I like it. I know it's very weird. I wasn't expecting for that sim to die, but he did. 
Sims tend to die randomly, regardless of like the hour, which is so wild. <laughs> Especially if you were not prepared. True, true. Uh, I started struggling with about that. It's all good, all good. <laughs> I was put on the spot. All good. I still enjoyed your name though. It's a good one. It's kind of sad that the kid's gonna end up in an asylum though. So with Gen 3, for all your eyeballs to see. So on Gen 3, all we have to do is randomize all the traits, but we need the nerd brain aspiration. And we have to be an astronaut. But we have to complete the career and the aspiration, complete the logic and handiness skill, and have one kid. But here's the thing, we have to make room for the kids with the randomly kill a inmate in the asylum. So that's going to be fun. So piranha pull anyone? Once your sim got struck by lightning in inside? How? That's weird. Bob pancakes got electrocuted. And I was very sad about that. Honestly, I really was. Uh, but anyway, besties, I cannot believe this. We have been on this generation for so long and it's finally done. Zoe and Zay. They don't have, they don't need to be erotic too. Yeah, they need to be erotic. All of them. All of them. Except Gen, Gen 3 doesn't have to be erotic because all the traits will be randomized. And if it ends up being on that one, good. But the other ones have to be, though, which is going to be uh, scary. Have them cook and start a fire? Yes. I don't know if it was glitched, but it's okay because it was Eliza Pancakes and I was going to use MC Cheats. <laughs> but I didn't need to. Mood. Eliza Pancakes is really out here getting a lot of, you know, sadness. She's not well liked in the community. If you're hungry, go eat some food. These kids don't know how to, don't know the term food. I have two kids, two toddlers, and two babies. Help. Help. Help me. Oh, no, it's all good. I believe in the original rules, um, the other Sims have to be erratic. I believe so. And that means I'm going to have to control seven other Sims. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm literally going to lose my mind. <laughs> Help. I can't handle the crazy people in my home. I'm going to lose my marbles. Just you wait and see. Where is my kids? Oh, they're over here. Hungry as ever. Child, you said you were hungry. Eat the chili. Using your hands. This boy's smelly. And they don't know the term do it yourself. Exactly. Or wash the dishes and put on the floor. Exactly. I'm like, excuse me, I made this food for a reason so you can eat. Oh, another pro tip too. If you're playing the 100 baby challenge or just a challenge in general or just for fun and you have get to work, I do, I do recommend this display case so you can put food in there so all the kids can just grab and go and you don't got to remind yourself to feed them all the time. More fun that way. Not this kid being... Oh my gosh. Go tend to your kid, please. Wake up. Wake up. Kayla, wake up. Tend to your kids. Thank you. I thought you weren't allowed to controllers. Oh, am, am I not supposed to? Oh. Hmm. I guess I'm not supposed to. After finishing your main sim, create other sims. Almost be young adults. Almost have insane trait. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to then. Works fine with me. If they die, they die. They're in an asylum either way. Works better for me. As long as I have control my own kid, I'll be okay. Oh my, my sim just disappeared. My poor baby. There we go. The baby's back. Uh, you could have six million sinks in your in your kitchen, but they would still use the third floor. Third floor bathroom sink to wash dishes. Yes. It's like you have all these things in your in your house, but use the 
one on the most unconvenient. Who's dying? Not the fox. I can't believe this. Not the fox dying. These animals do be dying all the time. You know what? I'm going to turn off animal aging because it's ridiculous. I can't <laughs> deal anymore. Uh, let's see. Catch me up. Turn this off. <sighs> the baby kept disappearing because she lost her hand. I blame with my, when my Sims lose a hand, they just do the uttermost. That gets more annoying when I can't control them. They end up breaking stuff and spending my money. Exactly. I'm like, I'm not made of money here. We're the, we're in the asylum for a reason. <laughs> we're in here for a reason. But anyway, I think what we're going to go and do is actually wrap it up here for now. Cause I did want to end off on having the last and final baby. And we did. And we will finish more of this more so like next week. Cause we'll work on building, building the asylum on Friday. And then we'll kind of continue on with like gen three and age them up next week. So we'll have all that. But get ready for the clip of the day, besties. Who's ready? Do your Sims not do not listen to the word you say, or is it just me? No, my Sims don't really listen to me at all, like ever. They just do whatever they want. I'm like, why? <laughs> However, I feel like when I play The Sims Two, I feel like they can hear me, which is very scary. I'm like, you can hear me since when? Already, besties. The clip of the day. Clip of the day. Han Solo is a sim for me. When did I say that? This was six months ago. Oh, wait. This was when I was trying to do um do the Journey to the Two pack all in one go in one stream. That was a time and a half. Man, the joys of Journey to the Two. I've played that pack for a while. The Telly's the Telly Tubby Fit, thank you. I have two. I have a yellow one and a purple one. I want to buy the other ones to complete the set. You know what I mean? Gotta complete the set always and forever. <laughs> but anyway, besties, the clip of the day. You want the red one? So do I. Okay, the cab is unmuted. Good. Han Solo is the sim for you. When there's a cry for help, Han Solo is there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear, it is one of those days. I was loopy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Han Solo Wait a minute. is the sim for you. When there's a cry for help, Han Solo is there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear, it is one of those days. Mm, 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 mm. Wait a minute. Hold up. Was I doing a 12 hour stream back then? Because I feel like I was. Or was it just like a general like three hour stream with speed running it? The way the headphones are not on the Teletubbies ears. I had to put my headphones on first and then the Teletubby head on second. So I could barely hear anything wearing this costume. It was ridiculous, but it was worth it though. It was very funny wearing that costume on stream and I want to wear it again at some point. I just got to wash them. It's been a minute since I've washed the costumes, but I got to watch them again. You know, times like this, you got to wash your oversized costumes these days. You don't want nasty, dirty things. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, besties, quote of the day shall be clutter is our best friend here on Spring Sims. Yes, clutter is your best friend and clutter shall be your one and main thing you shall keep forever and ever and ever and never, never get rid of. But I believe we're going to go head out on a bit of a raidy raid today, besties. And send some love, hype, and positivity 
to over to a streamer that we all know and love. And they were actually in the stream earlier too. Um, for some reason, my Twitch was not loading. That's so weird. That's so weird. Um, but they were in the stream earlier and they're streaming actually The Sims 4, which is really exciting. So anyway, besties, I'm actually going to be um, streaming tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Time. And I'm going to be playing The Sims 4. We're going to be renovating some of your builds. So if you already submitted for like tickets. And um, yeah, so thank you all for being here. I appreciate the company as always. We are going to go send some love over to Sunny Simsy. And they literally just started 10 minutes ago. So I think it's a perfect time. Just to start with the stream. And they're deciding on what to build today. So hopefully we can give them some, you know, some pointers, some help, some tips on what to build today. But thank you all for the love and the positivity that you spread on this channel every single day. I can't believe we're actually done with the... With the A to Z baby challenge. That's crazy. Next step, finish not so bearing, then we're fully done. <laughs> but have a good rest of your day, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Peace.